Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the Rant Cafe Anime Podcast. Today, with a special episode, our first ever Dungeons and Dragons one shot on Rant Cafe. I'll be DMing. It's my first time ever DMing, and it's Animax's first time ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Uh, let's oh, man. go. I'm super. I'm super excited. Obviously, I got my two co-hosts and a special guest. But before we introduce them, I say we jump right into the game and they'll introduce themselves and their characters when the time comes. Oh, shit. Oh, Sounds go. good to go. me. So the game starts in a random village. And inside, inside the house or inside a building, you notice a bunch of tables full of interesting people having meals and having drinks. There's a board on the wall with various pages with rankings on it and gold amounts and images of monsters, etc. There is a countertop with a beautiful lady and three individuals in line in front of the countertop. And the lady says and looks over to a red-skinned man with horns. Hi there, I, I assume you're, you're here to, to join the Adventurers Guild? I guess so, but I uh, want to order some food first before I really look at the board. <laughs> I mean, you don't order food with me. You order food with the chef over there. Yeah, you know, when I used to work here, uh, the staff was a little bit more friendlier than this, but all right. Hey, I, I, I just started working here like two weeks ago and like four adventurers already died. Give me a break. Oh, my God. Oh, ooh, oh that's 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 a high turnover rate. OK. Um, <laughs> Oh, anyway, right. I'm, I'm, this I'm gonna is go the... order some food. Okay. Uh, you you you, uh, you just wait on the other people, then I'll, I'll be right back then. Okay. Um, All right. Well, he was in line to to for the for like this is the sign up line. Hello I there. Off, I got on the wrong line. You you're know you're all, you're all good. Okay. Uh, hi there, uh, young lady. Um, as I look over towards a, I have to look down at the in individual in front of me. Are, are, you, are you here to sign up? This is what the line's for. The sign says right there. <laughs> uh, th this is the line for the I I Adventurers Guild? Yes, yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, I will probably follow that gentleman later after uh, to get some, some grub, but uh, very pl a pleasure to meet you. I, I, I am here to sign up. Nice. Um, okay. Well, go ahead. Touch the orb. I do so. Hey, can we hurry this up? You're up next. No, no rush. No <laughs> rush. And um, and what is what is your name, dear? Ah, uh, the the name is. Um, sorry, let me pull up my sheet again. <laughs> That's literally what I just did. I realized I have everything open, but the information I wrote down for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh the name goodness. is uh, Adrian. Adrian. Adrian Ironstone. Adrian Ironstone. Okay, it seems like you're around a a level. E adventurer, we're gonna put you down for that. And your class is cleric, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like you have a lot of potential. The orb glue quite a bit, or glowed quite a bit. Um, if you if you don't mind walking over towards the quest uh, board, I will be with you in a second after I'm done with the the gentleman in front of me. May I get some food first? <laughs> sure. You guys have time to get food after you sign up, and I explain everything. For a shepherd's pie? My god, the prices here are... All right. All right. I walk over. I walk away. Is it my turn yet? Can you believe this shit? Okay. <laughs> Techie, we'll, Techie, we'll go over to you in a second. So yeah, I know. I know. I'm at a counter right now with, with, these with, are all, with these you are guys. These are all off-screen... Off -screen. <laughs> At the opposite side of where the quests are, at the opposite side of the room, there is a counter to order food. And you could also sit down at a table and someone will come and serve you. Damn well better be. <laughs> you see, there are waitresses walking around and waiters walking around. Um, anyway. Hi. Uh, hello there, sir. You're, I'm assuming you're also here to sign up for the Adventurers Guild? Yes, finally. I don't have a lot of time. I need to keep moving. What job do you have for me? I need it now. Well, first, I, I, I need your name, and then we'll, we'll assess your current skills. We only let people accept quests within their skill level. You may call me Zoran. Zoran, okay. Well, proceed to touch the orb. Yes, here, I'll touch it. Oh my goodness, wow, that, that, that glue quite a bit, actually. It, it, I could tell you've, you've um, this isn't your first time. You, you've fought some battles, I assume. Yes, I often get this reaction from women. 
<laughs> You're so funny. Okay, um, well... I don't have time for jokes. Similar rank to the lady in front of you, around a high E to potentially even D shortly after a little bit more training. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna write all this down for you, and it would seem that you are a rogue, sir. Or you have assassin-esque abilities. Very cool. I do what I must. Okay, uh, well, I have your I have your card ready. The other girl walked away already, but I'm gonna go and give her her card. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, I would rather just do one pre presentation at a time, so I'm gonna go get the other gentleman real quick. If you guys don't mind waiting at the quest board, I'll, I'll explain yeah, the quests and how it works I, in a second. I, I, I walk this back over with my shepherd's pie, and I'm just like, all right. I don't have a lot of time, everybody. We need to get this done. What's your thing? I'm like eating a shepherd's pie next to you as I walk back over. <laughs> so, so is the food good? Um, oh, it's it's amazing. It's delicious. A little bit overpriced, but still pretty damn good. All right, what what am I doing? Touching an orb? Touch okay. the orb and tell me your All name, right. please. Uh, my name's uh, Ax Ross. You can call me Axel, Ax. Jim, oh. whatever floats your boat, really. Okay, Axe Ross, okay. Yeah. Um, touch the orb? All right, I touch the orb. It's a little bit greasy from the shepherd's pie, but I, I touch it. <laughs> oh, it would seem that you have some, some good magic abilities and all that. You're, you're quite strong as well, in a similar yeah. category to the other two, though. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to put you, so you are a warlock, correct? Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Okay, well, if you would go and stand uh, next to the board. I will be with you guys in a second. All right, cool. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, man, you guys, you're in a hurry, dude. Calm down. Life is too... Have some shepherd's pie. Here you go. I will take your offer, but only because I need sustenance. I am in a hurry. There, are, There is work to be done, and there are roads to be traveled, my friend. And there is shepherd's pie to eat. Here you go. I suppose that's right. Um, I will accept, but because I must. All right. All right, guys, I'm, uh, so, again, I'm Cynthia. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild of Inizio. You guys are all signed up. We have, um, adventurer guilds, um, across various different villages and towns throughout the country, and we're all associated, so if you go to another village, you will already be signed up there, and you can claim your quests and your rewards at any town with the same guild, which, again, for this country, it's all, it's all pretty much the same. Um, you guys all have your cards, just present them at whatever guild you're at. Now let me explain how this works. You guys have all been given E-rank, um, E-rank badges. However, after completing one E-rank thing, you will be bumped up to, to D. E is just kind of like an entry-level position. So if you look at the board, we have, we have, we have slimes, old man builds. The slimes just keep on eating his crops and going on his lawn and stuff like that. So, you know, he's coming in, he's willing to, to pay one gold actually to get for you guys to get rid of the slimes. You guys could take that quest. There's oh wow, one gold. That'll pay for an entire pie. <laughs> hey. No, go on. Sorry, our, our pies aren't, like, I know they're pricey, but they're not one gold. I'll be honest with you. I need more gold than I need it now. Well, Again, I highly, like, you guys could do other quests as well. There are some other quests available. I just want to say, I have watched many cocky adventurers come here and die within the first day. Just do one. It, it'll, it, it really t probably takes 30, 45 minutes. Do an easy quest with easy monsters. Especially if you guys want to join up together. Um, joining a party is always good. Lowers the, the casualty rate. But also, like, practicing together on easy quests will make the quest with, worth a lot of money all the worthwhile because no, yeah, you won't I, die. I get it. I, I understand. Yeah, you don't want to be going after... Uh, what's the most dangerous thing on this board? Well, uh, we have the S-rank dragon quest. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we should um, go after that. You're thing. literally not allowed to do this. You will die oh. guaranteed death. Do um, you just keep it up there on the board just to intimidate people then? Well, if you work your way up the ranks and become an S-level or maybe high A-level adventurer, I mean, you could take it on. The way it works sure. is we allow you guys... I mean, you guys could technically do what you want, but we only permit people to take on quests within one rank difference of what they're currently at. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, okay. Um, so as you can see, there's the slimes. There's the goblin quest. Oh, I, I get it. Like if we, like if you, I mean, you can't stop me if I wanted to take the dragon thing and walk out of here. But I'm probably gonna die. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not yeah. stupid. I mean, we're 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 not say, we're not saying you're allowed to do it. But if you go and fight a dragon, we can't stop you. And if you show yeah, up with okay. a dragon with a dragon's head, technically you claim the the reward. But you, oh, that's good to know. We're all not right, allowing. All right, so the dragon is hard, but how much gold for those goblins? Okay, so slimes are one gold, goblins are two gold. Again, I recommend starting with the slimes, but you guys can do what you want. And we have a third quest, which is a C rank quest. So technically, after you guys completed one quest, you could accept the C rank quest, but it's from an anonymous donor, which usually means it's uh, from like a noble or something, paying 25 gold, which is incredible. And apparently it's only a C rank, which is, which is crazy. However, we don't have a ton of information on it. We just know that near a castle where probably nobles live, I assume, there has been some shrieking and screaming outside and they want that taken care of. Uh, whatever well, monsters you're or saying creatures are saying it sounds that. too good to be true, but I need that money, so fine. You said if we do the slime first, we can do that 25 gold one, right? Yeah, as long as you guys complete one quest, you will become, like, it's kind of an initiation quest. Whatever quest you want to do, slimes, goblins, doesn't matter. You will, we will have you down as D-rank adventurers, and you could accept the, the, the anonymous um, C-rank quest. Uh, right, which, good. usually, if it's anonymous and there's a lot of gold, it has to do with a noble of some kind. So, always be careful with these. Um, mm. I don't like hmm. dealing with nobles. They're usually really arrogant. Um, well, I mean, sure, they, they but... already technically paid up front, so... As long as you guys kill All the right. monsters, we could deal with the rest. Okay. Seems like. Wh you where else gonna... are we gonna get that kind of money? We have to do what we have to do. Well, you um... really want that money, don't you? I do, and it's uh, it's a bit of a urgent thing for me. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. I I don't know your story, but I'm just saying. Sometimes you just gotta be. Just take it easy, man. Just go through life. I don't well, have time for that. People are in danger. I need to find the money, and I need to keep moving. All right. Well, let's go then. All well, right, guys, you I guys can do whatever you want. Take care. It's thank, uh, well, right. thank you. Welcome. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> was it her first day or something? I feel like oh, she's geez, very you're, oh, sheep. Oh, you're coming with us too? Okay. I was... <laughs> Oh, oh sorry. You, if you Hello. if you turn around, there is a there there is a, a, a rather small dwarven lady kind of just sitting there, like holding holding a mace, and is like, "Well, if you guys think that you're going to be able to handle this on your own without anybody to um, help oh, no. in come, case come of along. any incidents." Yeah, that's fine. So does this mean we have to split the gold with uh, her? That's typically how adventuring parties work. Y you could have some of mine. I don't really mind too much. Oh, right. I, um, I, I, I guess I, uh, I finish the pie and throw my napkin in the garbage can. Like, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll agree to this because that noble quest is likely some sort of trap, but I don't have a choice. So the more we people we have, the more all effective right. we're going to be. I agree with you on that front because I could see a noble pull in that type of shit. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, here's, yeah. here's the slime quest. There's a map on the back. Oh, that's handy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, oh, I should describe the map. So the battle map that you guys currently see on the board is just like a village with a bunch of houses. And basically in the far northwest corner of, of the village, there's going to be like a barn and stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's where you will find your quest. Okay. It's a pretty straightforward map, I'm assuming. It's just like a dotted line kind of deal. It's literally just a map of the village. A dotted line to the person's house, or a circle around the person's house. <coughs> hmm. All right, let's go. All right, let's rock and roll. By the way, you Can said I your name the was present? Axel. What now? You said your name was Axel. Oh, Ax Ross, but you could call me Axel, or just Ax, <coughs> or Ah, uh, or, you know, whatever you want. I don't really care too much about names. Well met, my friend. My name is Zoran. I'm Zoran, sorry, nice to meet you. but I haven't heard the name of um, the other one. Ah, Adrian. Adrian Ironstone. Adrian? Is it with an E or an A? With an E. Ah, Adrian. Okay. Adrian. Adrian. Family name. Right, of course. Like most names. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. 
Is it a, uh, Briggs, is it a long walk to the place, or is it like a five-minute kind of if thing? If you look at the, the map I showed you guys, it is literally, like, down the street. <laughs> okay, there you go. It is well. just down the street. All right, well, that's easy, then. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will... Well, you guys are gonna are you guys gonna leave the tavern? Yes, we oh, are. We are. Yeah, yeah, we're walking. Out. Yeah, we're okay. we're walking out, walking and talking. All right, yep. you're walking and talking. Um, and as you guys start walking across the street and between a couple of the different houses and buildings and stuff to try to get over to the far side of the village, um, out of nowhere, two guys pop out with daggers, ready to swing, not even saying a word. Oh. Oh, seems hmm. the uh, party's getting started a little early here. Um, what do these guys want? What are you guys up to? Like, uh, oh, well, it's gonna jump into initiative, but like, if you guys, oh, you know what? They're, they're ready. They're, yeah, oh, it's they're jumping ready. right into it. They're not. They're not men of many words. All right. Uh, if they're just if they just jump out of an alleyway and start making their way, or they, you know what? Them. They 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 jump out. They have their daggers. They're approaching you, and they're just like, <laughs> all right. I cast thaumaturgy. What does what? that do? I make a giant booming voice, and it's just like, out of my way! Ah, oh, my, 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 my ears! Ah! Oh. It's, it's, yeah, it's not. It doesn't really do damage. It's just more for like intimid. I'm trying to intimidate them to just fuck off. So <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna intimidate me. I'm Syl, and this is my brother Gil. And well, can I make an intimidation roll? <laughs> Try it. All right. Intimidation roll. Uh, that's just a nine, so probably not that great. No. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Sill looked a little, a little scared. He's like, oh, maybe these okay. guys, maybe these guys can hang. Well, you know what? We joined the Adventurer Guild bef way before you guys. All right. We, we want to do the slime quest. Screw you. We're going to take it from you right now. Oh, well, okay. I warn you, They're... if you continue this path, I will cut you down without mercy. I Seems need like a that quest. Okay. All right, you're, you're willing to fight, like, to the death over that. Like, all right. It's just a slime quest. You guys are newbies. We're gonna, we're, we're not scared of you. Y you know, there was a, there was a goblin quest. We could go back and do the goblin thing, and you guys could take the slime thing. Worth you're, more money. You're just giving us the quest? I mean, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I mean. We need to finish the first quest as soon as possible so that we have access to the second one. Right, but he Is said, that... I, well, th that lady said we could do the goblin quest or the slime quest and that opens up the bigger quest right isn't that what she said enough I with can... your words just hand it over all right, and i get aggressive fine. Let's okay go. all right <laughs> all right fine okay see that would have we would have tied if i had just Man, these pressed guys the are icon really, first they, they are, are ready oh, for this they are, they are ready to, to mess us well up to be fair they time. were trying to just attack you guys you know they what have, uh, this is your initiation they... to the guild Mm -hmm. You guys are the newbies. Okay. Um, and then I am going to... Sill is going to attack... Um, Axel. <laughs> because you're the one who screamed right, and no, was no, doing no, the yeah. talking. Yeah, I was streaming them doing the big booming voice, which is still active. Woo! Still... Yeah, that's a crit, so that's going to hit me. Gil oh! with the crit. That's going to do extra damage. Wait, why is... You know what? I'm just going to put them both on the same turn turnover. If that's wow. okay. I don't see... You guys really care about that slime quest. This is our slime quest. <laughs> yeah. Stab me right in the fucking lungs. Geez. This is my tail. And they have very That's similar voices. Very suspicious. All right, all right. You know what? You guys are dead. I was just going to see where this panned out, but you know what? Nope. All right, and then the other one will attack Zoran. And they're just, they just basically turn the corner. You guys yell at each other a bit and just swing in their swords and miss. All right, what if one of you attacks, distracts them in some way, and then I sneak attack them? All right, well, um, it is your turn, Adrian. Or Chuck. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. Adrian. yeah. It's Adrian. me. Sheesh. Okay. Um, I'm like, well, all this for some slimes. I thought that the goblin quest was going to be a lot more tasty to them. Uh, and I will... Cast inflict wounds on um, whoever is the first one in my line of sight. The one that stabbed me. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Fuck him up, Edrin. 
Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so basically I make a... Um, <clears throat> or, sorry, I, I will have to move up to the one that... Uh, so, like, I, I would I would move within you melee range. You have to make range. a melee attack. So yeah. I have yeah, to yeah. make a melee attack, spell attack, against the creature that I can reach. On a hit, the target takes 3d10 necrotic damage. And it's not letting you roll the hit? Let me open up your guy. Not letting me roll to hit over, uh, like, with using the spell, because I had to manually input the spell. So, do, 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 do. Ooh, that is unfortunate. That is bad. Um, Yeah, so that is a nine to hit. Uh, It does not hit. Their armor no. class, well, I, I won't say. So I'll say it will right. not. It, they do not hit. No, 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 you don't have yeah, to say. So what does this attack yeah, look like? It doesn't hit them. What does this attack look like? So I just go to touch them, and if, uh, if it doesn't work, it just kind of, like, fizzles off <laughs> like well, it looks it, like it looks like my hands fizzles like fizzles with like dark energy and then well, no, it just... it's uh if you're using like your weapon isn't it? i thought it was like your weapons wreathed in like necrotic energy and if you hit them with it then it does more shit no huh? yeah yeah you pretty have to much. make a melee spell attack uh, yeah. oh it's a yeah yeah well, so you're using a weapon told you guys you have no oh, chance you have no chance against us i've done Dude, the slime really? quest i've done the slime quest six times now why do you want the slime quest then you've already done it why, Why does this farmer have so many spawns? Hours. Why does this farmer have an issue with so many slimes? He has the best tomatoes in town. The slimes love right. it. <laughs> you like tomatoes? And they all—he always uh, gives us a, a bushel of, of tomatoes if we if we kill the slimes. Mm. All right, whose turn is it right now? Uh, I keep on forgetting. Sorry. Um, Axros, it's your turn. Axros, do something and then I will sneak them. Oh, I didn't put it in the right order. Oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna say. I know. It's I was gonna I say. I don't know how I'm going next. My bad. No, Zorin. Zorin. Would Animac, be it's it's you. It just it, yeah. it didn't auto order it. The name no, is Zoran, you fool. Yeah. Zoran, go. Yeah. Not you. The other guy. The magical voice in our heads called me Animac. Whatever that means. <laughs> I am a method actor. Damn it. Okay, what do I do, magical <laughs> voice? You can do whatever you want, dude. There's two guys in front of you. you They're like, clearly you trying to knock you guys out. Sill and Idrin are right in front of each other in combat. So if you attack, you get the like, you you get sneak attack bonus because he's not focused on you, basically. Okay, so I can just click the sneak attack in the global no. damage modifier. Thing? No, so sneak attack is already enabled for you. Um, you just you are you using your sword to attack? Are you shooting him with a crossbow? Oh, I'm using my sword because we are up close and personal. Yes. Well, describe what you're doing. And then click short sword. All right. Obviously, chat, bear with us. My first time DMing. Animex, first yeah. time playing D&D. Yeah. &D. You're good. Cut you're all good. this out, too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I, t I s stealthily and quickly take out my sword from beneath my dark cloak. They barely even notice that I moved as I point to blade and advance with breakneck speed. <laughs> All right, well, okay. you definitely hit. And who are you aiming for, Sill or Gil? I'm aiming for the attacker who attacked my friend, Axel. That's Gil. Okay, Gil, sounds good. Um, so click Sword Sword in the chat on the bottom right, like where, where it popped up. So you're in journal right now, I assume. So click the chat to get to where the rolls are. Top right, there's like all the icons. You click chat. Um, Yes, I click short sword. There we go. You do ten fucking damage. Jesus Christ! Okay. Let's go. Because you got that sneak and you and you um, <laughs> the sneak attack was a crit fail. Gil, damage, is damage. Gil's like chest just like starts erupting blood, and he is hanging on to life. He's like, oh my, Sil, Sil, these guys are these, these noobs are strong. God, oh my goodness, take them out. Um, Axros, it is your turn. Yeah, you guys are done. And I just point out my finger and I cast Scorching Ray. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. And so what does that do? Three, three bolts of fire come out and I can target who hits what. So I'm going to have one hit Gil and two hit Sill. I got to make an attack roll for each one of them. So let me do that here. Roll d20. Wow. Uh, does a 13 hit? Oh, wait, no, I get a plus because of my spell casting. Hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, those are plus six each. So that's a 15, a Honestly, they both. 12, and an 18. 15, 12, and 18. Uh, yeah. The 18 and the 15 hit. Okay, so I'll just have one each. Okay. Then. All right, so 
Is this lethal or non-lethal damage? I'm assuming it has to be lethal. Oh, since it's you're lethal casting. as fuck. Okay. They're dead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the one, the one that hit kill is gonna do. So they're each gonna do two d6. Okay. So that does four damage, but oh, does that kill Gil? First off, Gil is dead. Okay. Just Gil, light him like, on fire. You, just Gil, who's like looks over at Sylvie, like, oh my god, these guys are stronger than I think, and then he just explodes in fire. <laughs> and then Sil, <laughs> Sil looks at Gil, he's like, oh my god, my brother. <laughs> All right, so here's another 2d6 for Syl. And so that's, okay, so that's going to be six fire damage, but I also have some other stuff here. Okay. So I also have, uh, because of my patron, uh, once when I deal an attack, when I hit with an attack roll once per my turn, I could deal an extra two fire damage. So that's actually eight fire damage he gets hit with. Yeah. Eight additional fire damage or eight total? No, no, eight total. Eight total. It's six with the, with the Scorching Ray, and then because of my patron, I get an extra two fire. So it does eight damage. Okay. Um, Sill is visibly fucked up, mentally looking at his brother, falls to his knees, and he looks up, he's like, please, we just wanted tomatoes. We just wanted to kill the slime to get tomatoes from Bill. Are, are you trying to be, like, apology now after you came out and stabbed me in the chest? I wasn't going to kill you. We were just trying to get you the slime. me! <laughs> ah, please let me live, my brother. All right, well, I can't do anything else right now, so you're lucky. Um, dude, I don't know how to turn order thing works. It's so I, I think it's back to... Uh... Uh, him. Back to the yeah, it would be back to the uh, twins. That was his turn, begging for his life. Oh, all right. Well, Zoran. Zoran, what are you gonna do? It is a shame that this had to happen. You had a chance to back down. However, you chose this fate. That said, I need to keep moving, so I don't intend to finish him off because even though he might seek revenge later I will be nowhere near this place oh I you don't kill him I am so alright so if you don't kill him Zoran it is technically Edrin's turn yeah Edrin do you want to kill him or Edrin sorry I mean I can't how's that wound in your chest by the way uh, it, it took off 10 HP, which is a, it's a Here, sizable wound. Your HP? Free. Your HP is weak? Well, after you complete your first quest, Cynthia usually gives you a bunch of HP potions. Here, take my HP potions. Here's here's three HP potions. Just let me live, please. Please. I have a family. And I, I, have uh, a family. I use I use my turn to cast Cure Wounds on uh Oh, okay. On, on Axel. Okay, yeah, thanks. You can do it. It's like, eh. I'll take the potion and you I'll can take, take the it. Cure Wounds. And then I'll yep. <laughs> All right. Fine. Second, he offered me. He offered me drink, which is all right. I, I you're, you're lucky. I value food and drink very highly. I, uh, I have to fix my can... camera, guys. One second. Oh right, no. Cool. But if that was your turn casting cure wounds, then it's back yep. to me then. All right. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I'm just gonna so, tell him. All right. There are okay. now six HP potions standing at your feet because he got his three and Gil's three, and he placed them oh. down. He's like here. Take our potions. Let us live, please. All right. Oh my I'm god. Just gonna, I'm downing my. I'm downing potions to get back to full health, and I'm like, all right, then just get out of here. All right. And maybe if you care about your lives, maybe don't try to mug people in the streets. Sometimes they fight back. They usually they fight. don't fight back. Well, <laughs> I grab Gil and I start. I grab Gil's body. I slide away. Ah, right. I just wanted tomatoes. Bye. You're back to full health, by the way. I would imagine I would be, yes. Okay. Thank yeah. you. That's so, it, it's 12. <laughs> feel free to put the HP potions in your guys' inventory. There are six for you guys. Um, split right, them up nice. however you like. I'll take two. And I guess we each have... Uh, yeah, well, I guess we would each get two. Each get two, yep. I think 2D4 plus two? 2D4 plus two. All right. I knew it was 2D4, I 2D4 think 2D4 for, for a regular one. And then it's yeah. uh, greater... Uh, Greater potion of healing is like 2d4 plus 4. Right, potion so of healing is 2d4 plus 2, yes. 2d4 plus 2 is what you would roll if you want to use it. And it does take up a turn of combat if you're, you're using it on combat, like yeah, in, a, gotcha, in combat. Gotcha. All right, so you know what? That ends the that ends the combat, and you guys <sighs> can proceed to do what you want. All right, wow. well, apparently they take these slime quests pretty seriously around these parts. Jeez. Never expected that to happen. I on thought our first you, day. you were just a bunch of shepherds pie-eating 
nobodies, but clearly you know how to fight. I respect that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You you messed them up too, man. Yeah. Of course, that is my expertise. And thank you, Adrian, for uh, healing me. That really helped. Oh, but of course. Fun days oh. work. All right, so I guess go to the farm. Hope we don't get jumped by somebody else. Yeah, they really don't have very good um, initiation man. processes here. Yeah, really. No wonder yeah. the no wonder the turnaround rate was so terrible. Yeah, maybe those four adventurers weren't even killed by the quest. Maybe they were just killed by these guys. Yeah, I can't imagine slimes would be able to do that. Yeah, no. Good point. This huh. is an odd, odd place. Maybe, maybe we, we should... helped this guild. Maybe we should tr keep moving uh, westward. As yeah, we honestly, walk. I would like to try some of those tomatoes. Yeah, the tomatoes actually sound really good. No, no. Very joke. appealing yeah. at this point. Let's uh, let's head to the farm. All right, so you guys continue walking towards the farm, heading uh, northwest, okay. and you arrive at the farm. And on, so so let me actually change the map. Change the map. Um, basically, there is a big barn. There's a little a little stone fence going around the barn. Um, a bunch of different crops in front of in front of the stones, and even more west of the. Of the farm, you see a forest in the distance, or like kind of like on the edge of the property. Mm. There's, there's a big forest. Mm. Um, Do I see any of the tomatoes? Yes, <laughs> the the crops are basically all tomatoes. Um, nice. But tomato farm. As you guys slowly approach the property, you see, get off my lawn! These stupid goddamn slabs keep on eating my tomatoes. Where are the adventurers at? Where the hell is Sill and and Gil? They always take care of this shit by now. Oh, they're dead. Well, one of them's dead. Oh. Dead? Out yeah. of it, aren't you? Yeah, it was uh, quite a tragic uh, thing that happened. Anyway, can we help you? Oh, well, I guess that's the life of the of, of an adventurer. Uh, I mean, yeah. We have, we have the cars. <laughs> we, were, we were hired to go do this. So here, Get these yeah, stupid here. things off my property right now please 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 the, the tomatoes sure I no no i will videos. give you i will give you some bushel of tomatoes if you kill these stupid slimes all right i'll do okay i'll do it but i want three tomatoes up front <laughs> sure i don't care please just hurry up all right all right i grab three <laughs> tomatoes and i toss one to each of you guys sounds great all right would and that's like, what we call bargaining would you like to take a <laughs> bite of the tomato all right i'm biting into the tomato how good is this tomato the Terrible. tomato is fine, but uh, I think we need to stay focused on our task. It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> oh, they're bad. All right, yeah. well, okay, here's the thing. Even though they're bad, I still eat it like it's delicious. <laughs> oh, He's yeah. just a sad little old man. Oh, yeah, this is good. You know I, continue, what? I continue eating it because I'm used to a lot worse. Okay. I eat it and act like it was the best tomato I've ever had in my life. Below average. I do the it's, same thing. I like, do the same thing. I feel bad for this it's, man. It's like a four to ten, but they all think it's good because this village is in the middle of nowhere. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, I see you. I see you, Adrian, eating it, and you seem to like it. And I'm like, I give you a thumbs up. Like, good. That's good. Yeah. You know, right. The, just, these, no. these are the, the the best tomatoes in town. Damn they're, straight they are, sir. What's your name, by the way? My name's Bill. Bill, all right, a good strong name. I'm Axel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please kill those right. those stupid slimes. Just stab them all with right. a sword or something. Wh where are they at? All right. Um, technically initiative, but very weak monsters, obviously. Mm -hmm. I am gonna drag them on board. There are four slimes currently bouncing right. off Oops. the stones, jumping on tomatoes. Map, oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, look at Ishma! Look at. This. There are oh, four boy, the slimes are so cute. Slimes. All right. And Bill is standing next to you guys. I didn't make a, a thing for Bill. Right, but he's he's there. Because he doesn't fight. He's he, a, aww. He's just, a, he's just an old man. He's just an old little guy. Don't All be right, fooled um, by these cute-looking slimes. I've heard <laughs> some of them have consumed dragons in the past. Uh, Yeah, I don't think these things are... Like, how big are these things, Briggs? Damn it. They... Height-wise, they would go up to your knees, and oh, width-wise, wow. okay. I would say a couple feet in width. All right. Well, before we get into this, let me know. Let me this. I, I have a spell that might be able to take all these things out pretty quick, but like, don't get in front of me because that could deal some damage. I will but, stay behind and await your uh, yeah instruction. Okay. The That's quicker, the quicker we get these guys, the better. 
Okay, we'll do initiative then. Also, just a reminder, if you guys burned down my croft by using fire spells, some idiots did that in the past, and um, I actually charged them gold. Well, it's a good <laughs> thing. That wasn't part... You just said get rid of slimes. There was nothing else about no fires, so thank you for yeah. specifying that. I will now, give you the one later. gold for defeating the slimes, and then... I will go to the deputy and tell you, tell them you burned down my property. All right. Well, it's good that we know that now. I mean, that's right. fair, I Just guess. Just stab him with a stick or something. I'm an old man. All right. I'll stab him with something. It's oh. fine. You guys can just walk. They're not going to attack you guys. <laughs> they just walk up and... You, we're like, just I'm, walking I mean, up. they... they oh, so once, we get, like, a surprise round? I was round like, do we get a surprise round? They're, they're just, just fucking attack. literally, like, little animals eating tomatoes. Like, you guys could just walk up and get a surprise attack. Guys, but, these things don't even look threatening. I, I'm honestly, I, I don't, I don't even understand. I feel like even the old guy could handle these. I mean, yeah. they might fight back once. You never know. Dude, I'm actually, I'm so, I'm so scared. This is like you know Briggs' what? plan to be like BBEG four little this slimes. Just makes me think those two <laughs> brothers were even more insane. I, I look over. If you guys, over, if oh, you guys want, I can use my crossbow to attack them from a distance just to make sure it's not some kind of trap. Yeah, maybe we should just. I have rain shit too, so let's. Yeah, okay, let's just do that then. Okay. All right, I guess we're doing rain shit. Okay, yeah, cool. So, if we're doing the same turn order as last time, so, like... Here, you guys can roll initiative uh, again. I, I, I learned how to clear... I didn't know how to clear the board. <laughs> okay, fine, we're fine. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, we'll do initiative again. It's cool. Initiative. All right, here we go. I did worse than last time, but it's fine. Wait, there was supposed to be four slimes. And... There well, yeah, there's four. I can see them. Yeah. Bonk. All right, so Zorin goes first. I did one better. <laughs> Currently, the slimes are not in the initiative. They're just eating tomatoes. They're just eating They're just so, vibing, bro. Right, Zorin, you're up first. I mean, they don't look that threatening, so I um, guess just I'm do just whatever. going to play it safe, aim my light crossbow. All right. Aim true. And fire. Damn. And you killed the slime. One got disintegrated. Okay, cool. Well, that was easy. I suppose it was just a stupid slime. Hmm. Wait, you don't get sneak attack damage. You didn't kill a slime. Remove those. Oh yeah, you don't get you don't get sneak because the none of them are engaged yet. It's a surprise round. I don't think you get sneak on that, right? That no, no, because he's we don't have advantage. You don't have advantage. Well, no, it was if it was a surprise round. Yeah, sure. You oh yeah, you know what? They don't oh, see yeah, you. Oh yeah, surprise round. It is surprise round actually. They don't see you. Yeah, so. they're just eating. They're just eating crops. Yeah. yeah. Yep, you're chilling. Even with a ranged weapon. Never yeah. doubt the effectiveness of Zoran's weapon. Nice. Never doubt. <laughs> oh god, he's so he's so into it. I love this. Okay, um, I, I'm gonna walk up if it's uh, my turn, and I'm just gonna cast Eldritch Blast. It's just a staple of your Warlock cantrip. The yeah, energy blast that fucks things up. So um, let's go. This will be a D20 plus six. A crit. That'll be. 26. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that poor slime. I, I, I just, like, and mine is an Eldritch Spear because I took, like, an extra invocation. So it's just this energy spear that I just Damn. throw at one of these slimes and it just opens right. it well, on Well, the closest back. one to you guys just gets disintegrated. Well, that right. was definitely overkill, Axel, but... Um, hey, he said don't do fire. I mostly do fire. Okay. I'm impressed. All right. Okay. I shouldn't have warned you. That'd have been really funny if he just burned down all his crops. I mean, no, it's I did. Hey, he he hey, he doesn't want his his crops burned down. I didn't know if this was a thing or not. You know. <laughs> all right, Adrian, what do you what do you got? Um. Well, I mean, most of my stuff is for um. Assisting, but uh, I guess I've got a little something. Um. I'll do a guiding bolt. Oh, that's fun. Yippee. Uh, so I make a ranged spell attack. So I do a d20 plus six. Yeah. I hope you crit again. I hope we just crit these slimes into. They, that would be genuinely so funny right now. Like I kind of need that. Uh, my rolls have been shit today. Well, you, we were in surprise round still, so I guess we would get advantage on that. Maybe. Is that how that works, Briggs? I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, you had advantage. That's a 16 to hit. We're Regardless, it is a Dude, 16 it, to hit. It hits. <laughs> and it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to die no matter what. Yeah. It probably is. Uh, 4d6 radiant damage. This is overkill. This is you know so what? unnecessary. What? Hey, uh, you could Bill, do 4d6? <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bill, does it count if it's radiant fire? It's not It's the radiant, same thing. it's not- No, 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 it's a bolt, it's a bolt. I didn't do sacred flame, I promise. It's radiant damage, though, and it dies in a flash of light. <laughs> you oh, know, light. it's light overkill, and draw. it's funny. All right. Oh, God. I never actually rolled the slimes initiative because they weren't paying attention. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a surprise round. It's a surprise round. They you know just what? I'm died. Gonna go up to, I'm going up to Bill, and I'm going to say, Bill, take this knife, and you kill the last slime. It's your damn farm. <laughs> Show that you can do it. Teach a man to fish, and they'll have food for a lifetime. Us killing these things constantly is not going to improve your field. All right? You need to learn how to do this. <laughs> oh. Uh... Axle, <laughs> Actually, I've tried that before. They, 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 they kick me in. They hit me in the shins. We'll be, I have bad we'll knees. Here, we'll be here to help you. Oh God. Okay. I have bad knees, guys. Come on. Uh, they attack. Trust me, they attack. They were just too busy eating my tomatoes. Well, that's when you got. You got to be tactical, Bill. You got to sneak up on them like we did, because we're we're making no. <laughs> like, what were you doing? Just running up and yelling at them? That, that's not gonna work. <laughs> All right. Well, considering Zora, his age, I wouldn't be surprised. Run, uh, yeah. Well, the slime does the last slime. You know what? The oh, last okay. slime now, after all his buddies being killed, turns around, and his eyes turn red. <laughs> I want to admit that I, my back is to Bill right now. So. All right, his eyes turns red, and he hops very, 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 very slowly towards. Oh, buddy. Towards Axel. Yep. <laughs> and. We'll use but, an attack. But before... Or does he have to attack? It's our, it's, our, it's a, We'll say it's a slime's turn next. He does a little okay. a little tackle. That doesn't hit me. And... <laughs> it just... So he, it just taps slightly It just in taps the you in the knee. Oh. It just taps you in the back of the knee. And then falls That's back it. down. Alright uh, Okay. Can I shake my head in disgust and then destroy him with my short sword? Yeah, absolutely. Then that is what I shall do. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> All right, click the short sword damage. Christ. Click the short sword damage. Unnecessary. Oh my God. That's an absurd All right. amount of damage. The slime just gets cut in half and just absolutely just wilts and melts. And Bill's like, yes. "Well, Garn, damn it! You guys are you guys are quite strong. Oh, way stronger than Syl and Gil. You guys just destroyed those things." Yeah, Syl and Gil learned that the hard way, I'm afraid. Boy, howdy. Yeah. Oh, those guys tried to, to bully you too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we're the last people they're ever going to bully. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy for going after you guys. You guys are strong as hell. All, All right. right well, um, thank, thank, uh, it is our pleasure to help you there, Bill, but can you give us our money so we can be on our way? Uh, the tomatoes. The the guild hall actually has your money. I I have to pay up and in front, but I will sign I will sign your, your quest sheet. As a, or you could bring back a slime body to something to prove that you've done it, you know? Yeah, That's yeah, usually yeah. how it works. Briggs, so there I'm, any random, uh, I'm, I'm afraid the bodies are too damaged. Any buckets? Any buckets or crates or anything laying around here? Um, that you'd there are, the there's a wheelbarrow. There are wheelbarrows. All right, I'm going to take the wheelbarrow and just start collecting tomatoes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, you can take one, <laughs> one amount of tomatoes. Don't, you can't just rob me now. I'll yeah, get the you deputy. Said tomatoes. You said a bushel of tomatoes. Yeah, a bushel. a bushel. Okay, yeah, a bushel. That's a fine. Bushel. That's fine. It makes a, a mean a tomato sauce. Is. It yeah. makes it makes a good tomato sauce. I will make some delicious uh, chili with this tomato sauce. I'll bring some by later for you. Don't worry about it. Uh, we don't have time to make chili sauce. We need to get moving. There's a 25 gold waiting for us. All right, Zorin, listen, um, like, you in that have moment, time. I'm making chili tonight, all right? While you guys are collecting the tomatoes, you hear a woman... Scream from the forest. Okay. And you hear oh. shrieking of monsters and clackling of bones. And just, oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's uh, what was ominous. That? And the lady screaming, help me, help me, please. There's monsters here. Okay. Well, um, I'm looking at the tomatoes in the forest, kind of like, I believe the tomatoes may need to wait. All right. Okay. Sure. All right. You sure. have to see what's going on over there. Yeah. No. No. Let's go. Let's just go check it out. Yeah. I'm gonna stop by here for the tomatoes, Bill. Though. So just let you know. Okay. Actually, maybe have the bushels ready for us. That way, I can just pick them up on my way out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's so, go. Guys. As, I, 
As I walk towards the forest, I have the blade in my hand, ready to go. Yeah, I take out my kitchen knife. It's ready to go as well. All right, give me the a wind is blowing at my cloak, and I look extremely cool. You two look really cool, Zorin. All right, so you guys make your way over to the forest, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stand like a ways away from the forest. I'm going to let you guys go forward if you guys want to. That's all right. The uh, Idrin will not be spotted because of her uh, high uh, stealth um, abilities, by which I mean she is very short. Yeah, actually, you guys are both really stealthy. I'm not great at that. I'm going to hang out way up here on this hill. Uh, you guys could go down there and check out the... Don't worry, I'll lay down covering fire from above. Don't worry about it. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Hey, you want to have the high ground when you're in a fight. Trust me, Zora. I believe I, I, I'm counting on your support. Oh, don't worry. I, I will. All right. So battle map does change to a forest. And yes, I'm assuming that. you guys are walking over towards the forest and towards the shrieking of monsters and yes. yelling of a girl. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. All right. Well, as you approach, you see a woman being stabbed and dragged away deeper into the forest by skeletons. Do well, you... got dark. Would you like to chase her? Chase them? Uh, wait, okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so first of all, on this map, uh, is the forest on the bottom or on the top? Um, so you guys, let's, let's say you guys came from the the village that was, yeah. and, and the, I described the forest as being more west. So you guys enter right. in on the eastmost part of the forest, and the okay. forest just goes deeper and deeper. All right, okay. that's fair. So I see a skeleton coming out of the woods and grab a girl and drag her back in. Not coming out of the woods. As you guys walk to the woods, it I just, could see the skeleton, though, right? You could see the skeleton. Dragging. I throw, an El I throw an Eldritch Spear at it. It has a range of 300 feet. Yes, you could absolutely do that. All right, All right so let me... Are marauding skeletons like a common thing in this strange land? Oh, I mean, I've seen some undead before. A a Adrian, you're a cleric. You've probably seen some undead shit before, right? Plenty, but never usually out in the open. It's the middle That's, of the day. It's the day, too, yeah. That, he doesn't even understand the rules of being a skeleton. Things <laughs> just keep getting stranger here, don't you think? Yeah. We have... We had those fools attacking us for no reason. The slime quest, which keeps uh, keeps uh, happening <laughs> over and over again, apparently. Then we have the 25 gold for a low-grade quest. And now these undead in the middle of the day. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think that that uh, whole slime quest thing might be a racket with Bill. Think about it. The slimes always come back. He always recruits adventurers. And then Gil and Sil attack the adventurers. This seems like this is like a... You know what I mean? Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Now that is something to think about. Yeah. I'm okay. glad you took all those tomatoes. <laughs> so while you guys are having this conversation, okay, the I'm woman throwing... is being... She right, got I'm injured, throwing, clearly. Still alive. I'm throwing the spear at the one that's grabbing the woman. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, so... Like, the homie's, one... like, aiming as talking about, you know, this is a really weird day. <laughs> it's a weird-ass day, man. All right, well, throwing the spear. feel free to roll your spear. Um, okay. Let's go. 14. Does a 14. Does a 14 hit a skeleton? I need to check. Okay. My bad, I don't have the skelly boys open. It does not. Oh. They have armor scraps. It's as if they used to be not skeletons. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Uh, all right, well, then I, uh, yeah, I miss. So it's like, ah, shit, okay. Well, or it, like, bounces off their arm. Help me! Help me, please! As okay. they continue to move deeper into the forest. All right, I guess we uh, keep moving then. Uh, you guys can do whatever you want to do. I'll, qu I'll cast a uh, sacred flame. At the one the the one that I can see as well. What's the range on that thing? Uh, it's about sixty feet, so I'd be walking up. Yeah. How far about how about a far away is up are up are they? They are. Let me measure. Um, they're about now they're ninety feet. Oh, now they're ninety feet. Oh yeah. So I'll walk. I'll I, I can I'll use pretty much all of my movement to get to. Uh, Honestly, if you got did, you guys move probably a very similar speed as these skeletons, actually maybe a little bit faster. Um, yeah, if so they're moving, I'm assuming. Yeah, they're yeah. moving. It just your only we're choice is also, yeah. ranged attacks or running after them at a, at a faster I, speed. I have a if they're only like I'm a range. If they're only I'm ninety a... feet away, like I have a three hundred foot range with this thing, so I'm not, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. Yeah, I'm moving up so that I can be within range. Go ahead. So you guys are chasing then, right? Or two of you are at least. I yeah, mean, two. I'm kind of yeah. hanging back. You're yeah. hanging back a bit. Okay. 
Yes, let's chase. So uh, the skeleton needs to make a, uh, a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, I don't even know how to do that one. as a skeleton. So you just make a... Uh, yeah, so it's just... Um, yeah, it just, there should be a whole saving throw section. Yeah. The, so you basically have to pass a 14. Or oh, you're yeah, going you to take some the, damage. Yeah, you oh, have to roll. Go. Okay, Eight. So, no. Yeah, they no. no. So they're going to take... 1d8 radiant. Skeletons, not very... 1d8? Okay. Mm -hmm. 5 damage? Okay. So 5 radiant damage. Ooh, they're undead. Oh, yeah, they probably don't. Yeah. It pro I don't know. We'll see. I always think if it's like Pokemon and it's never... It's... Yeah. It's no, Yeah, it's never that bad. One of the skeletons, like, bones cracks and like a... a, 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 a part of one hand falls off. <laughs> Damn, I got good aim. But with the other hand continues to drag the woman further into the woods. All right. Damn, not the hand I was aiming for. <laughs> Zoran, you're up, I guess. Yeah. What if I run up on them, but in a way where I sneak up around them and attack? Um, They are moving. It's like they're trying to get somewhere. So in order, like you guys can probably move faster than them, but you have to chase. Otherwise they will get out of, out of view quickly. Does that mean I have to use my turn just to chase or can I chase and attack? We're well, not your, uh... really in combat. They're not even trying to fight you guys. They're just trying Soren, to steal your, this woman. What's your range with that crossbow? Because I, I could just hang back here and we could just keep firing at him. I'm not I got sacred flames all day. Is, uh... yeah. Three, oh, you have a range of over, well, 320 with disadvantage. 320 but... with disadvantage. So the, 80 okay. feet, though. The 10. 80 feet, so you can just walk up. Yeah, so you could, you could walk up and, and do it. So it hits. It hits. Which one are you atta attacking? Also, the I don't know why they all... The same one that was attacked by uh, Edrin. Okay, well, click the damage. All right, well, you killed one of them. Yippee! All right, cool. Good shit. For whatever reason, when I lower the health of one, they all lower, so... Yeah, that happens. These, guys are, these other two guys are still full health. Okay, the skeleton so... does, doesn't even react, looks over, grabs the girl, keeps on dragging. All right, back to me. All right, I'm going to try the spear again. Hopefully I'll hit this time. I just limber up a little bit. You know, when you're like, you know, throwing a throwing a javelin, you got to kind of like, yeah. You haven't stretched I pull, today? I, I pull out a little glove, like one of those like stress gloves when you have like carpal tunnel. And I put that <laughs> around my, like, hold on a second. I need to brace myself a little bit here. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, 300 foot range Eldritch spear. Jesus I Christ! <laughs> At the skeleton. Oh my god. <laughs> Critical hit. Roll so, that damage. So that's Eldritch Blast. So that is... Oh uh, my god. So that's going to be uh, 2d10 force. And two. there's extra shit that's going on top of that. So just give me a yep. second here. Yep. So oh that's, my th That's 12 force. Plus I have Agonizing Blast, which adds a 4 on top of that. So that's 16. Plus, I have the Genie's Wrath ability, which does the extra two fire. So that's 16 force, two fire damage. That's 18 damage to this skeleton. Jesus The Christ. skeleton gets lit on fire, like starts oh. panicking, and then out of, like, and then literally just like crumbles, not really to ashes, but just like a pile of bones are Probably sitting next to the woman. Probably perform with the force damage. Yeah, I'm just blowing the Oh, well, God. Well, what, right. when you there do you hit go. Axel, you sure... Uh... I, I, I need to limber up a little bit. I just haven't had that. I mean, that shepherd's pie was a little filling, but honestly, I, I haven't really eaten anything today. All right, the last um, skelly boy. I'm impressed. Maybe it was the brace. Yeah, the brace. Actually, <laughs> it might have been that, you know. I, my wrist is, yeah, I had to just, you know. All right, the, the last skelly boy grabs the girl and continues to drag. Um, but as you guys were following and getting closer, you notice a little bit of a castle in the distance. Oh, okay. Huh. I haven't Ominous. noticed it. I haven't moved. Well, the other two have fallen. I'm a running. Because if you guys haven't been following, like, I know you have 300 meters. If the other two haven't been following, like, they will continue every whatever turn amount of seconds and we'll get another 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet. Sure, so sure. So you guys have already attacked, like, three times. So that's, like, an extra 90 feet, roughly. Um, yeah, as yeah, they're... Been I've been moving up every time. You've been, you guys have been moving up. You guys have been moving up. There's only one left. You should be able to take care of this, Adrian. Hopefully. But as, uh, as soon as Idrin sees the castle, out of nowhere, a woman appears walking out of the forest. The, oh, the same woman that was 
Oh. A Are there woman. two women? A different woman appears. So there's two women. Okay. Yes. One yes, is being drugged. Still. Women! She has greenish uh -oh. normal skin. Okay. Uh, like greenish skin. She's got like a, a black hat, a black outfit on. Very gloomy. And she says, I see you guys have had my summon. You guys adventurers fall for everything. You guys see 25 gold and and you guys come running. And she snaps her fingers. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, guys, I think this is the next quest. Man, we didn't even have to go back to the guild. This is yeah, this is it. Thank you. This was convenient for us. You've our made day. our job so much <laughs> easier. <laughs> <laughs> See, you I won't be thanking me soon once I eat you guys and turn you to my skeleton soldiers. And once she snapped her finger, yes. three more skeleton boys appear right in front of you. Okay. Oh, all right. One. I'm further back. Two. Yes, you are actually still all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, I'm way back here. She's he's... like back here. Alright. Three skeleton boys appear. There are currently four. And now we will roll initiative. Okay, here we go. There we go. My god. Zoran and I are sharing a, an initiative roll. Yes, yeah, I'm very way. anxious to defeat this. Uh, uh, do you guys want to roll it? Because typically you roll again if you yeah. are tied for initiative. You roll again or you go with whoever has the better. De oh, Jesus Christ. Well, it would seem that she starts. Okay. So she walks in, she snaps her fingers, three skeletons peer in front of you. And then she puts up her hand while, while still laughing and three stone spherical objects start flying towards you guys. Um, almost like a missile. Oh, okay. Yippee. Watch out. But no matter, and as it gets closer, no matter whether or not you try to dodge, duck, jump, deflect, they all hit their target no matter what. It's like they were they were stuck to you guys. Almost like they were magic magic missiles. missiles. I don't know why magic missiles set that way, but it, 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 yeah, it, they auto they auto hit. Yeah, they yeah, auto -hit. yeah, they auto hit. Three damage. Three damage. Three damage. We all got three damage. You guys all Yay! got hit for three damage. That's fantastic. Hold on, what's her? She's probably out of range of this, but I can check. She's no, oh, no, no. She's definitely out of range for it. It's fine. Right. Sorry, I'm not used to being a D DM. Idrid, it is your turn. Yippee! Okay. Uh, so Idrid, I am don't going... die. It's kind of my specialty. Uh, I uh, am going to. Oh, let's see. I have two of these remaining. I am going to. For my bonus action, I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on Zoran. Uh, so basically, uh, Shimmery, uh, here you go, you can read it. <laughs> uh, so it's a concentration spell. He doesn't have to like touch me or anything like that. I have a range on this of 60 feet. So uh, basically, it Animax AC goes up by two. Okay, sounds good. Uh, for a minute. It's so that's time. Ten, yeah. Uh, so you're protected. That's my bonus action for my actual action. I will. Do uh 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 uh. uh, uh. I'm just gonna give him a regular old bonk for now. Bonk attack. The one, the, the guy that's in front of me. I'll just hit him with my mace. Okay. Swing. Oh. And damn. that's a hit. Okay. Bonk. Four damage. Now, if only I can make it so that they don't all don't all lose four damage. Well, no, perfect. Oh, we can't. I can't see the HP for. Them. Oh, you guys can't see the HP anyway. Uh, well, we can for one of them, but the other three that spawned in. All right. Well, yeah. I you guys don't know their HP anyway. Yeah. That's yep. Fine. 
when you attack with a mace, the bones fracture wherever you attacked. Ooh. Okay. Bludgeoning hurts them. All right, Axe. Axe Ross, it's turn. your turn. Sorry, I don't All know right. how to pronounce any of your character names. You could just say Axel. Axel. Fine. Yeah, Axel, or just Axe. All right, I am, uh, I'm actually going to walk 30 feet back, so like off the map, kind of. Okay. So I'm way, <laughs> I'm way far away from her. Uh, and I'm just gonna bust out that Eldritch Spear again. So here yeah. we go. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. I take and what are you aiming for? Her. Her. Okay. Feet. That's I'm right. Going for the witch, bitch. All right. Okay. <laughs> so that's a twenty-five. Axel, I hope twenty-five you know what you're hits. Doing because twenty-five. You're moving away from us. Yeah, that's fine. Twenty-five definitely hits. All right. Oh, and then I was like, hold on. Oh uh, yeah. So that's a one d ten force, and then plus all the extra stuff. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it's one force. Uh, plus four, okay, one plus four plus two, so it'd be uh, seven damage he's taking total. Okay. As the spear slams it. Ooh, I forgot. My level two spells are done. Okay. All right. Who? Sorry, I keep on forgetting to go. Oh, it is now the skeleton's turns. So the furthest skeleton will, will try and walk up with the other skeletons, but will not be able to attack because it just has to use its turn for movement. And then the three skeletons in front of Zoran and Idrin will start swinging. And they are going to swing twice on Idrin, who just made the attack. Turn, uh, oh my god, it is your turn. I didn't put them in the right order again. So sorry. It's your turn. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing I'm... I gotta I'm click the sort button every time. because I. Yeah, no, it's fine, man. My the bad. witch is out of um, the witch is out of my range, I assume. Um, the I mean, range is the witch is currently sixty five meters, uh, sixty five feet from you. You could hit her with the crossbow. You could hit her with the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's try that. That does not hit. Mm. She deflects it with a little bit of magic. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, now it is the Skelly's boys' turns, and like I said, yes. They're going to go two for Idrin, because you just attacked one of the skeletons, and one of them will attack Zoran, and the other one will run. So, one, two, three. So one will hit both of you, because the first two are for Idrin. And Yo. damage. Sorry, how do I fucking... Boom. Boom. Eight damage to Idrin, and three damage to Zoran. Nothing too crazy. You guys doing okay? Yeah, it's just a scratch, but I'm like on the way on top of a hill. Like, you guys going? Okay? <laughs> you guys going okay? <laughs> sort of. Rob that tomato and help us. I'm throwing. I'm trying to kill her. All right. Get up here on the hill. It's nice up here. It's very sunny today. Also, Bill walked down from the farm and is just watching you guys like it's another afternoon. So, so I'm on top of the hill looking down at Zorn and Idrin, and then Bill's even higher up on the hill. Yeah, he's just sitting there. He's just eating a tomato. He's on a lawn chair. <laughs> he's like, on a lawn chair. He's a, another day in the farmer. Yep. This guy has seen some things. <laughs> Doesn't even get... Uh... He's not even uh, phased, bro. He's such he's a giga-chad. He's not even phased by a witch and skeletons just He's a giga chad. He doesn't care. It is It is back to the witch's turn, now that I have yeah. everything ordered correctly. Sheesh. Okay. Um, Boy. and he is going to, she is going to take a step, a couple steps forward. How do you like my skelly boys? You guys <laughs> will become them soon. Haven't even touched me yet, lady. Um. <laughs> way on top. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm just imagining this, but like, <laughs> Axel is just like way out of the distance, like you can like barely audible like 300 feet away. 300 foot range. <laughs> like, like, oh, they haven't touched me yet. <laughs> you did, what did he He's say? He's just a speck in the background. I, your guess is as good as mine. It feels <laughs> even further behind. I imagine it's all on an angle, like a big hill. <laughs> you know? like a big old hill. I think he said something about ladies but we we gotta stop wasting time we have to kill them and get our gold and get moving this place creeps me out all right something and very wrong here she hears you saying that 
and in that moment casts a spell in a okay. language you guys don't even understand. What language is it? I'm, you don't know. You don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say, well, because I speak deep, deep speech, so that's why I was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. Honestly, yeah. she just makes a couple sounds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> undescribed gurgling noises. Undescribed. Well, from your distance, it sounds like undescribed gurgling noises. Okay. Got, okay. It. Okay. got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Teching's a little quiet. I will increase his volume. Oh God, no! I should never be quiet. I'm always loud for some reason. What? How did that happen? Because he's far away on that damn hill. What? <laughs> he actually is on the hill, IRL. <laughs> yeah. Does a 19 hit you, Zoran? Because he, she is aiming for you. I believe it does. Your armor cost. Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. What? I was gonna say, what is his AC? Oh, you got, oh, you got the because uh, the he shield. has a plus yeah. two. He has. Oh, a that's true. Face. Um. When you under your character sheet, what does your armor class say, Animac? It's above like hit point maximum in the middle, next to initiative. Fourteen. Says, uh, Fourteen. So you'd be at a sixteen. So that would be a sixteen. So, so yeah. it does hit, and you get hit with a blast of magic for eight damage. Oh, that's not good. Um, all right, Edrin, it is your turn. Uh, I am going to be like, well, this is annoying. And I'm going to cast a uh, spiritual weapon that is Ooh, going I love the to spiritual weapon. appear uh, right in front of the, or like right right on the, right behind the uh, uh, witch. Oh, okay. So it's an evocation spell. Let me grab it. So basically we're adding a, uh, we're adding an NPC into the, uh, yeah, what uh, what what shape are you making the spirit weapon? Let's make it like. I don't know why, but I really like when weapon the spiritual weapons are like memes. Yeah. Can we make it the... one of Bill's tomatoes? Absolutely. Uh, it's a tomato with like a little. But like it, but it angry. has like the. Fa I was gonna say I, I wanted to make it like a tomato, but it has the face of those slimes because the entire time Adrian thought that the slimes were really cute and she wanted to make one as a pet. There we go. Oh, that's, that's adorable. Looks identical to the face of the slimes. It's a little tomato and it appears next to the witch. And it's just witch. glowing. It's, it's glowing because it's a ra it's a radiant weapon. It's a radiant tomato okay. slime that does bludgeoning damage. Probably. And it's cute as fuck. <laughs> and what? Is it, and what does the tomato do? Uh, it has its own okay. turn. It has its own turn. Uh, I will so... make the tomato go on your turn, if that's okay. Like, it don't have the same turn I order as you. I think it goes, um, or, yeah. Or does it say? Uh, you cast a spell, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. On a hit, the target takes... I think it typically rolls... It, in Baldur's Gate, it rolls for its own initiative, or okay. you can just have it right after her I am gonna turn, whichever. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put a slime can... next to her, and we're gonna... I'm yeah! gonna make, I'm gonna make wow, the slime. that's perfect! I'm gonna, make, yeah. I'm gonna make the slime roll an initiative. There you Bet. go. If the sheet will open. Initiative roll. Oh, it oh! got. A, uh, I mean, it just. Oh, it's okay. It it's crit. It crit, but it has a negative. Initiative. Right, it's fine though. It could be. Well, well, I mean, it, it would be. It, it would be a regular. We can make it twenty. It would be a regular twenty. It would be a twenty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is the slime's turn. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> or the tomato's turn. Yeah, mess it up. Let's go! Okay, so it's a melee spell attack. Yep. So it'd be this plus six. That's an 18 to hit. 18 to hit. 18 yeah. does hit. Cool, so it's gonna take a D8. Uh, what is it? Is it 1D8 plus? Um, yeah, 1D8 plus your spell mod. Oh. This is gonna hurt. I mean, it should, unless you roll a one like I did. Yeah, uh, so that's a nine. Nine. Nine damage, wait, all right. Is that my, wait, is my, yeah, my spellcast mod is six. I had to double check. Yeah, I think it's the same as mine, because we're both yep. level three, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So and the, that's and the witch nine freaks, oh my god. Nine radiant. Where did that thing come from? Oh, I see you guys could use, use magic as well. Oh, you didn't notice when I ran a spear through you? Okay, well, I, here's I, another. You just threw a spear, dude. It's an energy spear. It's uh, it's not a real spear. Again, all of this is from 300 feet in the <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. There's no way we can even hear each other. Dude. I'm not quite 300 feet away yet. I'm like 150. Oh, okay. But I'm uh, every turn I'm moving back more and more. <laughs> he's just moving. he's gonna 
end up sitting sitting it's on a rocking eight, chair eight, with eight, Bill at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm just up there on a rocking chair next to Bill, throwing Eldritch Spears <laughs> down, down at you what guys. What are you <laughs> saying? Was he it can't damage? hear him, and the witch can't hear him, but he seems to be very passionate. Was it eight damage? Pardon? Eight damage. Nine. Nine eight, damage. Nine, uh, okay. nine, yeah, nine, radiant. uh, radiant damage. Zoran, it is your turn, and I do want to remind you that after you attack, you can use your, your rogue abilities. Yeah, you could do, uh, so you could dash, disengage, or hide as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Which is really oh. good in D&D, because, yeah. Very good. I'm going to use my crossbow on the witch, and then I will hide afterwards. Okay. Okay, yeah. Roll it. Uh, by the way, chat, nice. I'm, I'm just reminding. So, chat, the reason why I'm reminding Animac like how to play Rogue is just because it's his first time playing D and D, and we made his character yesterday, and I explained it yesterday. But like, it just it was a lot There's to take in. There's a lot in. to keep track of. It was There's a lot, a lot to, take to take in. So I'm just letting him know. Like, usually what Rogues do is they they hide, they play stealth, they attack, and then they go back to hiding and stealth. Animac, usually. don't feel bad. I played a Rogue for like 60 episodes of One Piece D and D, and never really played him as a Rogue. So Jesus Christ, know. that's a lot of damage. Animac. I remember those early episodes. <laughs> God, I sucked. <laughs> Wait, uh, would she? Would he have sneak attack damage because of the tomato? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, because it's advantage. It's right next to her. You did yeah. eleven sneak it's, attack I, damage. I, I put it within. Fucked. I was gonna say I put it within it. Oh, oh, oh glass Fif cannons, man. Fifteen. I gotta love fun. Rogues. It's fun. They're glass cannons. It is nine. So now you would roll stealth afterwards if you would like to to so hide. What do I do? Um, there's. All the ability skills. There's a skills with tons of things in a row. Roll stealth. It's at the yeah at the bottom. Uh, attributes and abilities. Yes. Uh, it's under. Uh, it, okay, so it's on the core page of your sheet, and then it's under skills. It's next to on the on the left side with all the numbers. So character sheet core, and yeah. then mm -hmm. left side with all the numbers. There's like a bunch of them. Uh, and what am I? What? Stealth. Okay. It's okay. Uh, the bottom of the skills rectangle. Um, what uh, what page are you looking at right now, Animac? Like the main uh, character sheet. Okay, with your like HP and your everything. Okay, so oh, uh, I click stealth. You want me to do that? Oh yeah, yes. yeah. There it is. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Oh okay. my god. Jesus Christ. So there is rocks next to you and a bunch of bushes and stuff. Um, so you're gonna choose to hide somewhere around there. Whatever you want, Animac. Yeah, r rocks are uh, harder. I'll hide behind the rocks. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So mm, nice. the Skelly Boys also don't have the best perception, so literally anything would have worked. You could have taken a step down and just like hid, and they probably wouldn't have seen you. Um, he just crouches down like a damn. But if you go behind like a, like, <laughs> like the bush or something or the rock, you're good. Yeah. Okay. All um, right, guys. I damaged it badly. Just finish it off, and then we'll scrape up these foolish skeletons easily. Yeah, I got it. I'm hoping that when I kill her, she uh, the skeletons disappear. I'm hoping that's how how that works. Possible, but we have to be ready for anything. That's nah, okay. Also, I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm hiding. Yeah, I was gonna say you're hiding. What are you doing? What? <laughs> uh, Vezvach. Oh my bad. I just re released her name. Um, Whoops. Is oh, going to take her. a bonus. Uh, she's gonna take a bonus action now. And three more skeletons are gonna appear. Actually, I need to see how fucking far you are. Damn it, it oh might not God, work. All of these skeletons. There's a bunch of them. Uh, okay. You're over a hundred feet away. God damn. Okay. Oh me? Oh no, I'm further than that. I'm off map. I'm like 130. You're 130. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like I said, he's on a rocking chair with Bill hucking I, the spears. Every turn, I am moving up this hill. You know? <laughs> every this time 300... he has dialogue, he's just screaming. He's still got that thaumaturgy active somehow. Yeah, I mean, I can keep activating. Oh, I can keep it moving. It's, it's a cantrip. I can keep that shit moving as long as I want. Exactly. Look, it's okay. You keep distracting them. Yeah, they're honestly. Like, Why do you keep talking to us and moving away? And then that gives us more breathing room over here at the front line. <laughs> it's All just right. still peak comedy to me. that There's this witch that's, like, cackling and so... And then, like... <laughs> actually you no, know, this, would be, this would be <laughs> scarier at night. This is a very sunny day out right now. <laughs> yeah. The witch is, like... The witch is trying to be all dramatic, but she has to keep screaming. Because <laughs> Axe keeps talking Axel's to her from so back. far away. What? Okay. <laughs> so, what the... God damn it. That's actually so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> so... I can't believe this, this, this. Wait, I can't. I can't remember her voice. <laughs> I can't believe uh, she's she, this guy's so far away. And I, I summon three more skeletons. Okay. 
but they can't get, reach you because you're so nope. far away. But they're going to be. Very, they're I'm very far away. They're they're being summoned around 80, 85 meters away, and then they're going to start walking towards you because he she realizes okay, you're so, a threat. Uh, can they move the same turn they're summoned? No, they did. They're about to start moving, so they actually like on oh, their okay, turn. okay, so they just they just appeared eighty feet away. All right. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm still fifty feet away from them, so I'm yeah, not worried about them. Yeah, they yep. can't do anything to you yet. Yep. So I, it is your turn, Axel. Okay, so I was hundred and thirty feet. I'm moving another thirty feet, so that's hundred and sixty right. feet away. Oh my god! I, I move up the hill further. Oh, look at the dandelions. This is a lovely hillside. Okay. Uh, yeah, spear. <laughs> Just keep spear. calm, keep calm and spear. <laughs> keep calm and warlock on. All right, that's not going to hit her, unfortunately. Does not Damn. hit. Again, yeah. the spear goes by and she just taps it with like her arcane magic. All right. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, it, is that's, uh, now the, turn, yeah. it is now the witch's turn, though. Okay. Um, does this weapon next to her, this tomato, if if the witch moves, would it get an opportunity attack? attack? Like, I don't know what this tomato yep. is. Okay. Yep. It is a glowing. It is a glowing. Uh, okay. Tomato glowing, slime. Sl tomato slime. Yep, and it will bite. If she moves. Well, the As tomatoes do. The witch is gonna be like, well, actually, what is the distance on magic missile? Oh, one twenty. I looked it up. You're at one fifty away now. I'm one sixty away now. You're one sixty <laughs> away now. So I can't even attack pissed. you. She's pissed. You and could I, move up thirty feet, but then yeah, you'd be a one fifty range. And the tom and the tomato would would and get the tomato up. would attack her. Yes, the tomato would attack her. Yep. She's just gonna cast her 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 missiles like three cylinder esque um, pieces of stone fly towards uh, only Edrin. Oh no. no, she's focusing her attacks. One, oh, boy. two. Three. Well, they're not. Yeah, well, they're, they're, yeah, auto, they're hits. auto hits. They auto hit. I okay. One. What? What? Okay. One, two, one. Then maybe. It's I don't right. know why that one's two plus four. Oh, because of the crit. It's yeah, not the but four, it, but it, it's it one, can't two, crit because it's. Magic. It's yeah. yeah. So. Yep. One. Two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't even make any sense with magic missile. Hold on. Let me look up. I don't uh, think I added missile. it right. But... No, no, no. You're fine. So. They each dart deals one D four plus one. So if we're doing one plus one, so two, two plus one yeah. with three and one plus one would be, they, they can only do two damage minimum I did, for each. I did each. one D four plus spell plus one. Did I do it wrong? Oh, it's the I one I don't know why, here, because it's impossible for a magic missile to only do one damage. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's it's two, three, one, a uh, two. Two, three, two, three, two. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. So yeah, yeah. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. I have to use the bathroom. Okay. You're good. So. Man, he's so far away, Two, he can just use the bathroom. <laughs> four. And no one even noticed. Six, okay. I'm bloodied. You you can see uh, Edrin's, Edrin's hurting. Yep. And and yeah, the the missiles start to pierce your armor, and you could and and uh, you could see that you're you're not feeling too well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Edrin. I think you need to take your it's potion. It's the tomato's turn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. Unless, unless she's, unless, unless she has no. something else that she wants to do. Cool. She is out uh, of things to do. Tomato is going to bite. Uh. Can you guys see her HP? Yes. Yeah. Not the number, but not the number, but the bar. The bar. So that's a dirty twenty. The hit. twenty hits. Yes, absolutely. Dirty tw So dirty twenty is like a term that's used when uh you roll a number and then the modifier makes it a twenty. Got it. So it's not natural, basically. Uh, so that's going to be 1d8 plus 6. Seven damage. Thir nope, 13. Oh. oh my god. 13 uh. radiant damage. Ding dong, bitch. Dude, she falls to the ground. Ding dong, the witch is dead, bitch. <laughs> She's still on a sliver of health. Damn it. A sliver of health. Uh, let's wait for Tekken to get back for to say this. Okay. Tekken, right, so back. Yo, Edrin, what's up? just you, no, the slime, tomato guy, not just, even... just bit for like 13 damage. The witch yeah. falls to its knees, coughs up blood, but, wait, did we skip the Skelly's turns? We skipped the Skelly's turns. It's the Skelly's after the slime then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is still hanging on to life. Oh, okay. 
How you feeling down there? I don't do oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guy is screaming from really far away. <laughs> okay. So, I love how I made all my characters female characters today. Or a lot, a lot of them. I'm like, I, I can't do these voices. Uh, okay. Yeah. So Wait, was were, were Gil and Sill women? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. With the no, exception I'm... of Gil and Sill. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I so, just figured it out. And Bill. Wait a minute. And Bill, Sill, Bill. They are all in on it together. Yeah, Some I just figured that out too. They're probably... We right all it was a oh my god, I hate to admit it, but Sauron was right. It was a trap all along. <laughs> Everything is um, a trap. He menacingly eats another tomato from atop the hill watching you guys. Wait a minute. I put this together. Okay. <laughs> the skelly, I'm walking up to him. The skelly boys uh, approach only Idrin because Zo they don't see Zoran. Oh, and shit. now all four skelly boys are capable of attacking Idrin, which is not good. That's not good at all. I'm your healer. One. Two, three, four. Oh, okay. Two of those hit. Dogpiling on on Edrin. Only two so of them hit. Eight oh, damage. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, how much? Eight damage. Yeah, I am down. Okay. I rolled pretty low on my health. The average is usually like thirty-two HP, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I rolled low. And Edrin goes down. The remaining I Skelly am. Boys are trying to catch up to Axel, but he is so far away and they, they can only go at 30 more feet, right? Uh, yeah, they can only move 30 feet. So if they were at 80, they're like 110 now and you're like 160, so they still can't reach you. And okay. they only have a, like a sword in their hand. Is Edrin so. dead or just injured? No, no, okay. So I'm she's, unconscious. She's unconscious. She's not dead. She has to make death saves. Yeah, mm -hmm. so so the, the Skelly boys surround her and all slash at her body. Two of them she was able to block with her with with her armor and evade, but the other two slice her in the back as she and she falls to the ground. Zoran, Bastards. it is now your turn. Now Zoran, you can also revive her if you want. Uh, that's gonna be your action, but you could go over there and like get her back up with one HP. What mm -hmm. do you think we should do? Try to kill the witch? You guys are like screaming at each other. So you're you... hiding. I'm up a hill, so you gotta make it's this decision you. on so your you, own. Yeah. You guys are no longer Zoran. If you're yelling at um, Axel, you will no longer be yeah, hidden. Yeah, I, I, I was telling this to Animac as like oh, okay, you know, yeah. what he what he could do. So yeah, yeah. you could Give attack it the you Zoran. Could... You could use your action to bring her back to oh, life. Yeah. <laughs> so. Because completely you have... meta gaming, <laughs> streaming down a hill. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're we're just we're just teaching. Yeah, we're anyways. just yeah. So, he doesn't no, no, know. No, 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 it's no. fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I I was saying it would be funny if like in game the character was like use your action like breaking the fourth <laughs> wall. <laughs> uh, Zora, okay, Animac, you could also use that potion as an action to give it to her, and then she would have even more HP if she came back. So you that would probably be preferable, but you could do whatever you want to do. Yeah, okay, but I so I come out of hiding, I give her the potion, and I run back into hiding. Uh, okay, action, give her the potion, cunning action, hide. Yeah, yeah. I guess he could do that. Yeah. So your yeah. cunning yeah. action is just a bonus, like, stealth type thing. Because like, of rogues, yeah. Only rogues can do it, though. Like, that's not a standard thing. Yeah. Right. What do I click? Uh, stealth again, I guess. Um, yeah, so you're, the Skelly Boys do not know you're there. Okay, so um, you hit again, and then Edrin will get the 2d4 plus 2, I guess, from the potion. 2d4 plus 2. Edrin, you can roll for it if you want. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Five. I mean, okay. five. Seven. Or seven, yes. Because it's plus 2. Yep. Okay. Are you Ax back up to the seven you had? <laughs> I'm back up to the seven that I had. Axel, it is now your turn Whoa. again. All right, you good? Okay. Um, She looks Missed really wounded. I, oh, I, by the way, I'm walking up another 30 feet. I'm now 190 feet up this damn hill. You're, <laughs> you're, okay, <laughs> if you've been going that direction, that means yeah. you're basically now back at the farm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Am like, I right next to Bill? You're like within 10 feet of Bill. He, <laughs> like, like not I'm, on I'm, the farm, just like on the edge I'm, of the farm. I'm giving him the look of like, is this a show to you? You're out here with like a lawn chair eating a tomato. <laughs> it actually worked out really I well for you. Tell. But can you tell him not to fucking miss? 
All right, I'll take out the spear. Here we go. I'm it, in it at the lady. It's funny because you guys really didn't chase them too much into the forest, so you could still see them with like the trees and ruins that are around. If they went yeah. deeper into the forest, they came out to us. <laughs> they came out to us. And, yeah. No, they, she the, came out to us. She did. Oh, she did. They she were out. running, but yeah, she. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Well, yeah, she should have stayed in her creepy castle. Anyway, twenty to hit. Oh right. shit! Not a crit, but twenty to hit. It does 30, hit. Twenty. All right, and that's one d. 1d10 force. Okay. Oh, max damage. Let's go. So that's 10 force plus the four extra force from my charisma mods. That's 14 plus the two fire damage. So that's 16 damage. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Right through her head. Right through max her neck. Damage. So she as she's on her like on her. Oh, technically she was on her knees. Does that give you disadvantage? Uh, if she was prone, no, because this is so far away. Like the rain, no. Well, well let me let me look it up. Because I was gonna say, like, technically, Hold this up. attack would kill her. But she, I told you that she fell to the ground last turn. So yeah, I did. Hold on a second. Shit, yeah, my but, bad. Oh, she's, she's also prone. using like a magical thing, right? Yeah. So it, it just it's depends. Not just like a regular. We gotta get the ruling on this. No, uh, actually, no. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the creature's within five feet. Otherwise, the attack roll has disadvantage. Okay, so I guess I have disadvantage on the attack roll, uh, which would make it... The nine, right? Right. I, I almost want to make it hit, but technically it you know, would be a disadvantage I, Well, I, yeah, this is the thing I'm talking about, because I have way higher ground. She's so far away from me. <laughs> would her being prone or standing up even matter? It shouldn't matter. You know what? It, it, ruling you know, it's ruling like, in place. If you're rule able cool? to rule of cool, like you're above enough to see yeah, her entire I, I body. I think I have high ground. So, like, come yeah, on now. I'd yeah, say, yeah. I would say the concept of the range disadvantage um, in this case when prone is because you have less of a target to hit. Because if you're standing directly like level with someone, it's harder. Yeah. You don't see as much of their body. But in this right. case, you're on a hill shooting down. Dude, so yeah, and I can see body. right where she is. She hasn't moved. She just okay. went down a little bit. So, so yeah, she's, yeah. the hill. The hill counterbalances the counter. Yeah, yeah yes. it's like it negates the disadvantage. Yeah. So she's literally on her knees, looking up at you guys. And as she starts to look up to see what like the skeletons are happening, a spear goes towards her face. She tries to block it with her arcane magic, but like it just goes right through. And you want it to go through her head or her neck? Oh, I'm going through her head at this point. If she's and prone, it just goes... Yeah, she's like getting up. She goes to block her with arcane magic. It does not get deflected and just goes right through her head. And she gets yeah. flung backwards and is killed. I think I got her. <laughs> Ding <laughs> dong, the witch brother. is dead. And in that moment, all the skelly boys, all the skeletons, vanish. They just disintegrate. Yeah. Oh, it's, a good thing we, it's a good thing we focused on that bitch i mean witch <laughs> which bitch and the one i don't see a bitch i don't see a witch i don't which bitch are you talking about uh yeah, the, the witch, witch bitch witch, actually oh the bitch witch okay gotcha yeah and funny enough not funny enough as the skeletons like disappear you see souls from their bodies start going upwards and they resemble Aww. you could Aww. tell that like some of them have swords and shields and like one's holding a tomato <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Nice. I hope you find yourselves peace in the next life. And they just That's smile weird. and disappear into the into the sky. Thank you. This really has been a strange day. This has been a wonder. It's not even noon yet. Well, we still got to get that gold. It must be in there somewhere. Oh yeah, someone maybe bring we back. Can, I was gonna and say, bring back the witch's can... body. Maybe we can yeah. get some for maybe, that. Or too. maybe we like yeah. can like cut her head off or something. Yeah. Well, whatever. Well, whatever I was we like, whatever's do, left of her, technically, because I think you blew her head off with the spear. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could. I, I pierced it through her eye. She still has a face. With you she guys. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, are, are you guys searching the body? Because you said you were going to take her head. I mean, yeah, you guys probably. can. I'm way up on top yeah, of the hill. True. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Search, we're gonna. Sorry. I was gonna. Search, I need to let you guys do this thing. My bad. I should. No, I, okay. I shouldn't have given you. That idea. I was. I knew you were about to take her head, so you're technically searching yeah. the body. I was gonna um, take her head, make sure there was nothing else on her, see if she had no, any. Like, the body, and then if there's nothing on I'm the a, body, I'm you have a, to the if, castle. It, if it helps, I am a researcher, so like oh, I'm go. very yeah, much yeah. so going to be exploring all this stuff. I'll probably also like. Uh, is there any like remnants? Like, did the skeletons like turn into sand or something? Like, 
Basically, or just did, or did they ashes, just vanish? Just ashes. So they disintegrated ashes. I'll probably like take some of the ashes as well and like put them in a little pouch. Oh, that's cool. Uh, to Never bring them back to a lab. Was that a Scooby Doo Zombie Island reference? No, I just they're. She's a necromancer. <laughs> no, I did. No, 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 no. It, okay, so in Scooby Doo Zombie Island, there's a moment where all the zombies die, and they're all Confederate zombies, and one of them's like, "Thank you." And oh, that's what I said when the zombie, like, when the ghost, yeah, goes Got to it. heaven. I guess Thank even though it's like a fucking Confederate zombie. <laughs> like, yeah. It's a weird movie. It's a weird movie. Yeah. All right. Well, if you are searching her body in her pockets yeah. and um and like on her robes and and, and corpse, there is. A couple vials of green goo. Oh. And um, don't eat that, Axel. I'm way up don't on the worry. hill. I'm I actually was gonna, gonna say I'm, I got gonna, it. You, you guys you talk two about are together. that. You two are together. I'm doing a thing. I'm gonna do a thing with Bill after you guys okay. are done. Yeah. Um. And there is a piece of paper, as if she was uh, basically showing that she was the one who submitted the request to the guild to try to lure adventurers to her castle. The slime okay, quest. Please. No, the, the anonymous quest. There was a C-rank anonymous quest. Oh! 25 gold. So that means oh that we can goodness. now claim that 25 gold in the guild. She, wow. she wanted to lure adventurers to her castle so she could eat them and turn them into her undead army. Yeah, but now, now because wow. the 25 gold should be pre-deposited at the guild, we can go and claim it, right? We can claim all of it. Since you did say that, yes. We um, have, I was going to say, we have proof now. Um, Excellent. Looks like you were right. Okay. Are you I, I, tur well, I, I turn and say to Zaron as, uh, as I pull out the piece of paper from her pockets. Looks like you were right. Yes. This is our uh, anonymous donator. Indeed. And uh, even though it was a rough go at it, we managed to do it. We were a good team. And uh, Axel is back there like, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. going to go. No, I'm going to talk to Bill. I'm, I'm dealing okay. with him right now. What are you okay. saying to Bill? Uh, I go over to him and I'm like, all right, Bill, I just realized your name is Bill. And those two guys that jumped us were Zill and Gil. And also creepy witch bitch castle right next to your farm. So what do you know about this guy? I, I, I just farm tomatoes. Okay. I'm casting suggestion on him. <laughs> okay. And what does that do? So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jokes he's probably you. a commoner. Roll, fuck. Just, just roll a d20 and we'll see how good it is. I mean, he might crit, and in which case, you know. Five. I was going to say. Okay, so he fails. <laughs> All right, so I will tell him. I have, I have to, like, I basically suggest a course of activity, and he has to follow it now. Okay. He's charmed by me. So I'm like, um, treat me as your closest ally and answer all of my questions truthfully. Okay. Oh, okay, and so I'll be like, all right, tell us everything you know about those two guys that attacked us, and this witch, and the castle, and the skeletons, everything you know. I mean, uh, those two guys are, they are friends of mine. They, uh... Ah, knew it! They, okay. they helped me with my slimes, my slime problem many a time. I knew them back when they were kids. I, I, I really appreciated all their work. I gave them tomatoes and their, and their... Did, did you their, know they were, like... Tomatoes. Did you know they were attacking other people on the way here constantly? Like, they stabbed me before we got to this farm. They stabbed you? Yeah. I got better. No, I, I, I didn't know that. Well, okay. Uh, I thought they were now, good boys. I, well, no, they weren't. They were horrible. But also, uh, yeah, so the castle, though, and the witch. Did you know anything about that? I mean, I, I, I do be hearing a lot, of, a lot of screaming sounds from the forest and shrieking and monsters and stuff like that. But that's and not you too unusual. And you didn't think to mention that at the guild instead of the slime problem. I mean, they leave me alone. So they're like your neighbors and it's like, ah, whatever happens on their property is their own business. Dude, there's a lot of crazy shit that happens in this world. All right, Dude, well, I, just don't, closest... I, don't, I don't go in the forest and nothing yeah. bothers me other than these slimes that like my tomatoes. No, that's fine, but we're you're my closest ally for the next eight hours, so come on down the <laughs> hill. We're going to go talk to the other guys and see what's going on with them. Um, <laughs> uh, as long as you think it's safe, I'll trust you. I never go into the forest. No, no, you're, yeah, it's fine. You trust me as I'm, I am your closest ally. Let's go. Okay, let's yeah. go. Right, I, let's I'll go. follow you anywhere, buddy. All right. Out of character, I'm convinced yeah. Bill is the is the BBEG. <laughs> what is that? The uh, big bad end game. 
That's what BBEG stands for. Or big, I always thought it's like it was... big bad evil guy or big, I like, it was I've big ever bad evil guy. That's, it's usually yeah. big bad evil guy. Uh, I I I've I've heard big bad end game like end, okay. like end game right. enemy yeah. or, uh, evil guy is usually the more common one though. Yeah. All right. Well, no, uh, Bill yeah, is head down genuinely there. just a, a farmer who <laughs> he he does, he leaves people alone and they don't bother him except for those stupid slimes. I come it's down. So I come down. Elephant. They. I come down the hill with Bill. Bill's hanging out next to me. I'm like, all right, guys, uh, I had a chat with my old pal Bill here, and everything seems to be on the up and up. He didn't know anything about the people stabbing us. He did know creepy noises from the forest, but uh, he did. I guess he just didn't tell anybody. So uh, inaction is action, I suppose. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, but there's also there's, there's goblins over there, slimes over there. It's not too abnormal for... For for monsters to be attacking people in the forest, that's why you go. And, you don't and go kidnapping to the forest women. Tonight. How many women have you seen kidnapped into this forest? Only six. <laughs> All right. So, Can you just um, watch from your front porch? Is this like your? He you watched this entire fight from the top of the lazy chair. I will say it is. It is pretty entertaining. All right. Well. Like, all right. We're all anyway, now we can all hear each other. Yeah, we're all here. Yes. We're all here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People that walk into the forest make their own choices. Well, we just we just made, came into a lot of money, everybody, and I have a proposition for you. You you're both strong, and I think we make a good team. I, I think wanna, we do too. I need I to agree. keep traveling west. The lady back at the guild said there's more guilds in every town, and the deal is basically the same. If you guys can come with me. We can keep going together, and trust me when I tell you, lives are at stake. I, I need okay. to keep going to save the lives of many people, and I need your help. I'll go wherever with you, Zorin. That's fine, but shouldn't we go back? Uh, we got to go back to town and drop off all the bodies and get the payment, and then I got to get some course, lunch. We got to eat some lunch. I'm not I was going to say, yeah, we got to yeah. get some lunch first. Yeah. Oh, no, by the way, I'm, Bill. I'm just, um, I'm just We've uh, had kind of three uh, fights. Putting in my convincing. Uh, now so that uh it's not a huge shock later no i okay no it's fine i, I get it um hmm. bill uh here's what we're gonna do buddy okay uh we're gonna pick up this witch's body we're gonna bring it back to the guild we're gonna get all this taken care of bring back some of the slimes uh you cook us a fabulous lunch and then we'll meet you back at your place eat lunch have a picnic and then we'll continue west does that sound good with everybody yes excellent all right honestly sounds like a perfect plan yeah all right, so you guys start walking over, I suppose. All right, yeah, we head back to the guild. Bill goes back home and starts making us lunch. <laughs> he right. starts working oh, on Bill, Yeah, Bill just gives you a thumbs up and smiles. Yeah, because he he's, loves he's you. Char he's charmed by me for eight hours, so <laughs> there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot you cast suggestion on him. <laughs> yeah, you think Bill? Bill's all friendly and stuff, but he's, he's charmed. Yeah. He's been bewitched. Okay, so you Yay. guys feel witched. As okay. you guys are having this conversation, you make your way back to the guild. Do you guys yeah, walk yeah, into yeah. the guild? Yeah, 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 sure. Who's carrying the witch? Uh, um, probably me. Oh, I suppose <laughs> we would help you, since you're so small. I I am small, but no, I no, she's am got stocky. it. She's strong. Yeah, she's stocky. Um. What happened to the sentient tomato? Did it disappear, or does it follow it you? Guys? It disappears. Uh, it, it would disappear. It probably disappeared when she got knocked out. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Um, yeah, it seems like a one purpose type deal. Yeah, that's all it does. Uh, it what is up. your purpose? <laughs> what is your purpose? I feel my. It's basically like Mr. Meeseeks. It fills its request and then ceases to exist. Yeah, exactly. What but existence. they love it. Yeah, they love it. It's fine. <laughs> they love it. It's fine. <laughs> all right, as you guys open the door of the tavern, since you're like, oh my god, you guys are alive. Thank god. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're all right. Like, death rates like ninety percent these days. Whenever, whenever oh. our first adventurers go out, I'm so happy by, you guys are. By back. the way, I want to, I want to say well, you about didn't that. Tell us that ninety percent early. Well, that's why I sent you guys to the slime mission because I knew it was the easiest. But for whatever reason, um, people just don't come back. I pull out, I pull out the card. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, yeah. By the way, there are these two guys. We killed one of them, but they stabbed a lot of people on the way to the slime quest. So maybe I don't know. Post some guards around town or some shit. I don't know. Oh, uh, I have a... What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? They st People try to attack you on the way to the slime quest? Yeah, two dudes. Yes. What, two what, what dudes. Well, one dude now. We killed one of them. What are their names? Gil and, Gil Gil and, and Sil. Sil. Gil and Sil. What? Gil and Sil? Yeah. 
Apparently these guys were regulars and well trusted. Yeah, they did not like us. They they were very yeah. convinced that the slime quest was theirs and theirs alone. Uh, yeah, I, I think they were we common bandits just for using their adventure status. They as came a up way to uh, attack innocent people. They came up and stabbed me right in the chest. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we fought back. But uh, yeah, Sill should be still alive. Uh, I don't I don't know where he's at, but he well, ran away begging for his life with his tail himself. between his legs. Yeah, yeah, he probably pissed himself. So, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it is what it is. But, you guys, uh, anyway, we were took strong care enough to take on uh, Gil and Sill. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys are I'll you guys tell you what, we were, strong enough, we were strong enough to take down Gil and Sill. Then we took care of the slimes. That actually was the easy part. And then this witch came out, which, by the way, was the person that set in the original quest. I pull, I pull out the, the card. I'm like, I was wait, wait, bad. wait. You guys are overwhelming me with so much information. One second. Okay, so I am going to ban. I gotta, we got to make sure that we, we ban Gil and Sill from our guild. Just well, Gil, Gil is banned from life. Oh, so, he's yeah, dead. You're okay. Seeing, you're not going to be seeing <laughs> him anymore. Yeah. So it's you technically... You sure know how to make those jokes. It's technically not Ill illegal for people to, like, fight in these towns and stuff, but if our guild members are fighting each other over quests, we're going to ban them for sure. Or at oh, least good, just yeah. still. Um, and you're telling me... So you took care of the slimes, um, and you have you have the, the quest sheet signed by... Yeah. By Bill? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here yep. you go. Yeah. Here's your one goal. I would have. He had suggestion. He would have. I would have made him sign it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I asked. Uh, Bill asked to sign it. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, here's your one goal for that. And you, what are you guys telling me about another quest? Yes. Oh, the you, anonymous one. The anonymous one. That's this lady right here is the one. She was luring people over to like kidnap them and turn them into skeletons. We killed her. I threw a spear you through her eye. Showed the body and the sheet. Yeah. Yep. I was like, go. We have the body in the wheelbarrow that we definitely. Stole from Bill. Here's the body, bottom, and, bottom. and here's the evidence. Here's the and thank you very much. There you go. Oh, I'm so confused. Uh, I don't know what this witch has to do with the quest. Uh, it's right here. She was it's the one who writing. submitted it. There you go. It's okay. right here and right. Oh, she, yeah. she's the. Oh, okay, let me. Your anonymous. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Requester. I mean, yeah, maybe you should vet people more when they make requests because yeah, this this so happens. You, you, Perhaps you, a background. Check you guys might, killed the yeah, woman who put it in the quest. Yeah. She's it been was a kid trap. She was well, going she was... to kill us and turn us into oh. skeletons. She's been kidnapping women trap. in the forest for months. Apparently, Bill said there were six women that he knew about. Probably more than that. He didn't I report wonder... it. I wonder if this is what that 90% stems from. Yeah, probably. She kind well, of Bill, had like an undead army. Oh. Yeah. So... She had like an undead army and it looked like I, we saw like at the end of it. Once she was dead, it seemed like the souls of these skeletons and adventurers were, were freed. Yeah. And they're finally Some real necromantic peace. stuff going on out there. Yeah, very creepy. Very creepy. Especially in broad daylight. Yeah. Okay, well... It's been a weird... It's been a weird Tuesday. Normally, mm -hmm. if you kill the person who put in a quest, you wouldn't get the gold. But if it was just a trap to lure you guys in and you, you killed... We should get double the gold. You guys killed the monsters that were, I guess, shrieking and... Ca and Kidnapping, kidnapping people. Look, and all killing I'm your adventurers. Killing all of your adventurers. We went above and beyond for this. We did you a huge favor. I think a little bit of a bonus is is warranted here. Yeah, we killed. I and think the death rate's going to go down in this town. We're attacking essentially your adventurers. Then we did the the slime quest, and then we killed the witch who was putting in fake requests in order to lure your adventurers, turn them into skeletons, and I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> I'm confused. So, take the gold already. <laughs> So please, okay. and also, would you like to buy some witch bones or something? I don't know. <laughs> no. I mean, there's merchants right. and stuff you can try to sell her body to, but it's just an old lady. All right, well, point. I am going to I am gonna pers try to, I'm going to roll persuasion on Cynthia to try to convince her to give us, like, some extra money for all the stuff we did today. I mean, we helped her out a lot. Yeah, we need that money. Okay, 19 persuasion. What does that get me? Honestly, I, I, I would give you guys extra gold. You guys went over and beyond, but... The way this works is they leave the deposit, and then oh, when you complete it, you get the deposit. Okay. All the money uh, we make off food just goes to pay our workers and stuff. Okay, can we get a, can we get free food at this tavern if we're ever out here, then? How about that? Sh sure. Free. For life? No. I can't. We can't for afford that. Life. I mean, I want to say yes to you guys. I'll, I'll buy you guys some food, I guess, for... No, for, no. For... Bill's making us a picnic. It's fine with that. But, uh... Because we got to get moving. Zorn has stuff to do, apparently. Yes. Oh, I, I would get, here's an extra gold, I guess. 
All right, fine. I'll, ta- I'll take it. It's cool. I give it to Zorin. I'm like, Zorin, this is your money. You need it more than I You guys do. don't know this, but I, she just, because it was a good persuasion and you guys yeah. came back alive and she's happy, she just gave you like her paycheck for like the week. Well, I Aww. wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know you that. You guys don't know that though. Why? Well, I, I, I okay, should listen. Well, we don't nice know that, but that's okay. All, but I have lives to save. All right. So are you okay. guys. So we just drop the witch in the middle of this tavern and just like. All right. Um, but, but... Peace out. Don't you guys want to take another quest before you guys go? Uh, we, we'd like to travel to the next town to the, yeah. uh, over in the west, and we'll take the quest there. Uh, in the west. So Dos Londo is the closest village left. Through you the guys, forest? You guys could take the goblin quest if you want and do it on the way. Cause it's, uh, is, it, is, it on the, is it in the forest? Is it like in that direction? Um, so you know Bill's farm? Yeah. There's the start of the forest, and then further northwest in the forest is where they've been having goblin incidents. Okay, well, northwest is still west, Zorn. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely for it. Let me just uh, drain my snake, and I will be yeah, ready yeah. to go. Hey, no fucking way. Hey, Edrin, Edrin, come here. I'm gonna, like, this is like whispering to you directly so no one else mm-hmm. can hear it. Like, that witch had that whole fucking castle. We should stop by that castle and see if there's anything we can gain out of that. Oh, I like yeah. the way you think. Yeah, she could have some like if she's if she's kidnapping. Well, first of all, we should probably check to see if there's anybody kidnapped in there. But they also might True. have like money and stuff from travelers and stuff. We could probably get that. Mm. Yeah. Also, mm. wait. Question to DM okay. before I say like my next line: Was the woman that was like screaming and being dragged the witch, or did we just leave an abandoned person? Like, did we just abandon we, we, this? We very body? well might have. She got stabbed <laughs> in the chest, and then she was oh, being so she was she dragged. was like dead. I guess I didn't say it, but yeah, she was technically bleeding out the entire fight. So I assume she's tell, dead by now. Oh, I'll tell Bill to bring her back to town and make sure she has a proper funeral. My bad. I, I should have told you guys about the corpse. Like, she is definitely dead. She got stabbed. She was dead. And All right. I was going to say, okay, I'd be like, did we, was that, uh, we didn't check on the lady oh, you that know what? was actually, originally being dragged out. Okay, you know what, you actually, maybe when she died, because maybe she got turned into a skeleton. Oh, it's possible. I mean, skeletons yeah. did extra appear. She summoned people I was gonna that say, she killed. Extra yeah. ones did get summoned, so maybe yeah. she was one of the three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys are gonna start moving back towards. Just, I was gonna say. I was like. I was like. Wait a minute. Do we just? Uh, how do we? How do we play this? Because like we're kind of shitty people if we just let this girl. Oh, die. I'm. I'm definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A- Axel is not the greatest person in the world, but he cares. He cares about one thing, and it's food and drink. If you give him food and drink, he has your respect. But other than that, like I, murdering I, people, I, that's it. Eh. Eh, whatever. My snake has been drained, and I'm ready to go. All right, you ready to go? That, that really felt like we were at a bar waiting for you to go to the bathroom and just be. All right, you're right. Ready like, to go? Okay. All right, we good. All right, I think we're ready to go now. Let's yeah. go get. Let's go get that picnic and eat some lunch and have a little bit of a short rest and let's continue on. How about that? Um, That'd be great. Okay. Uh, b- bye, guys. So just just know when you take this quest from here, you can accept it in the in the other guild. It just might. Take oh, we some could get t- the you, we could it, get the reward in the other town. You could oh, get that's it in, you, you could get back. It in the other town. It just might take like a day for the gold to arrive once the quest no, is that's completed. Fair. Okay. Um, I, uh, while we walk, I will tell you All if right. that's okay. Can I do an info dump, guys? Yeah, info dump. Go ahead as we're walking sure. to the farm. Yeah. All right, so since you agreed to fight by my side and can go west with me, All right. I will give you my tragic backstory and why I am so desperate to get the money and keep moving. All right. You see, I am from the far west, a country called Rodina which was taken over recently by the Great Empire, of which we are uh, all a part of now. Yeah, we all know the Great Empire, right, Adrian? Yes. But of course. Yeah. yeah, the Great Empire. And uh, the, the Great Empire in the outer regions has its, this rule where each family must give up one son to be tra- brought all the way back here, months and months of travel, so that they can be nowhere near their family and they will be trained to be part of the sacred legion which is the personal guard of the emperor they essentially have to give up their families give up their lives give up everything and just become mindless whoa so leader. you were a guard for the emperor well i was a guard in training oh. i spent many years training but then on my very first mission i was asked along with my comrades to slaughter an entire village of rebels Ew. including Ooh. women and children oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So i'm did, that is tragic. We our superior officers, killed them instead, and escaped. Now, I know what 
the consequences of my actions will be. As soon as word gets to the far west that I abandoned this, uh, the, uh, the guards, I will be, my family will be hunted down and killed. I've sent word to them to hide. Oh, but I okay. There. I must get there as soon as possible in order to ensure that they are not hunted down by the army and killed. And that is why I need the money to get there. And that is why I need your help. And that is why I'm in such a hurry. Well, shit, Zorn, you need money here. I gave him all my gold from the quest. I don't even care. It's like, here you go. So you guys well, we got are now traveling together. So 27 yeah. gold total. And it would be I'll, three I'll give it to you. Yeah. Because 25 and then one from the girl's wage and then one from Bill. Yeah, I give Zorin, I, I give Zorin my share because I'm not really. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you, Axe. You are a true friend. Of course. I give him, I give him half of my share. Aww. So you have to keep money. track of this. Um, I, I did save your life, but you also gave me that potion, so I appreciate you. Or you of gave course. me that spell thingy. Whatever. Shield. Cool. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. One quick thing, just to I want to give people reference for how money works in the world, this world that yeah, I yeah. created. Like that shepherd's pie plus like if you were to get like a, a meal with a drink, it'd probably be like a hundred, hundred and fifty silver type of thing. So okay, it's like right. So it's like one gold, and, and one well, gold, say, one gold yeah. a thousand silver, right? Usually in most worlds. Well, no, okay. So the way it works at D and D is ten copper to one silver, ten silver to one gold. Oh, there's there's an actual D and D system oh, for yeah. money. Oh yeah, there's yeah. a whole and then one, then a hundred gold to a platinum. Like there's a whole thing. So say that, that yeah. again. How many silver? A hundred copper for one silver. Pretty sure it's ten copper to a Just silver 10. and then ten silver to a gold and then a hundred gold well, to a platinum. Hundred coppers for one gold. A hundred coppers for one gold. Let's just make it a hundred copper. Oh, Let's okay. make it a okay, hundred copper, one gold. Oh well, no, a hundred copper, one silver, one... and then okay. ten silver, one gold. Yeah, we could just do it like that. Like okay. a penny to a dollar, and a dollar to yeah, penny to a dollar, dollar to ten. Yeah. Okay. But so it's then... copper to silver, silver to gold. I had to. I had to look through this one time, and I calculated it out that one gold in this world seems to be about ten U.S. dollars. That, oh. that was something. I, well, yeah. then the food is cheap because so then I will say the the food like a food and drink at that at that tavern would have been like one to two silver. It's not consistent, but I, the way I looked at it was a shovel costs about two gold, and I'm like twenty bucks for a shovel seems to be about fair, so I'm gonna go with that. Yep. But it's your it's world; you can make whatever D &D conversion inflation. rates you want it to be. All right, so two D, D inflation is crazy. <laughs> no <laughs> one is safe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you guys are having this conversation as you walked over to Bill's house. Yeah, we're gonna. I, yeah, we walk over to Bill, and uh, I told him to have lunch ready. So I hope that, like, yeah, he has a nice lunch for us. Yeah, well, hopefully this rest and food will replenish some of our HP or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a nice short rest in. Hopefully. All right, you guys knock on the door. Door. Mm hmm. Bill. Hey, You're my best lunch, friend. Buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Welcome in, welcome in. I made some nice tomato with tomato sauce on the tomatoes with a little bit of grazed tomato on the side salad. Ah, oh, it looks lovely. You did a great job. All right, everybody, shout out. And we will roll for how good this is. So it's tomatoes with tomato sauce on it and then a tomato salad. Oh, my God. I mean, it does this the salad doesn't own. I was going to say, this man doesn't own rice or anything. And does it's the salad at least love have it. lettuce in it? No. It's just raw <laughs> tomato. <laughs> It has, like, it has like olive oil, I guess. <laughs> or like okay. something. It's oh, that's it. So right, like, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Sliced up tomatoes with a little of olive oil in a pan fry. That actually doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. Well, that, that's no. the salad. The, the, the meal is Fine. tomato with tomato Fine. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, roll for whatever. Yeah. 17. Like a whole that's, it's Damn. okay. It's, it's loaded with tomatoes. 17 out of 20 is banger. This is like the it's best meal you guys have had good. in months. Wow, we are we don't have standards. Oh no, it's I fine. see what they mean by it was. Hold on, what what is the chemical for? what is the chemical makeup of a tomato? A tomato has uh, okay. Twenty uh twenty four milligrams of a tomato is just vitamin C. We are getting a shitload of vitamin C and vitamin K from this meal. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Um, no, no. Uh, and yeah, this is banger. So like, the tomato itself, when you took a bite of it, was not that good. But mm -hmm. the right. meal that he made with this tomato is fucking some of the best food you've had in your life. I Out it of this world. This is incredible. I'm complimenting Bill. I'm like telling him, man, this is a great meal. Thank you so much for this. It'll replenish us and get us to where we need to be. Yeah, I mean, I, I sell these tomatoes for quite a bit. That's why I'm able to afford uh, 
what's it called, a one gold per day to get rid of those stupid slimes every day. Delicious. I'm going to add a little bit of a, I have my cook's tools. I'm going to add a little bit of a spice to mine. If anyone wants some red pepper flakes with these, I have, I have some stuff. Oh, yeah. And if you don't mind uh, sharing, that sounds delicious. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. So I, 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 I throw on a bunch of like different seasonings. If you want like garlic powder or anything on them. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm. As you Great. guys um, are enjoying your nice meal. Yeah, I don't talk much have... about food. I just eat while I can. I know it's more of a sustenance thing for you, probably, huh? Yeah. We just have a, a... <laughs> focused on the goal. Soren, I'm gonna teach you all about the wonders of food on this journey. <laughs> Maybe once. Our I'm gonna. I'm gonna next time eat. I cook a meal, you'll have some good ass food. Trust me. Thank you. Thank you, Ak. And with that meal, the end slash maybe yeah. to be continued. Yeah, this was fun. Hey, yeah. this was so hey, was fun. Good. Great yeah. job, Briggs. Honestly, well, job, Briggs. let's go. Yay. I was so nervous. I'm glad you guys liked it. You did You fine. did great. You did great. Yeah. You did really well, yeah.